Waheguru Ji Ka Khalsa, Waheguru Ji Ki Fateh. So welcome back to the Guru Mukh series. A series that I've started to highlight the the great Sikh figures in our Sikh band. Um, it's nearly been two years since we started the Guru Mukh series. I go from the Jeevanis of Sant Gani Guru Bachchan Singh Ji, Sant Baba Attar Singh Ji, Sant Baba Ishir Singh Ji, uh, Sant Baba Sham Singh Ji. And what's very interesting about today's podcast and the Jeevan of the Guru Mukh we're talking about today is that this is Sant Baba Sundar Singh Ji and they have a, a strong link to Sant Gani Guru Bachchan Singh Ji as well. So just to get straight into it, um, of course, we've got Gani Ji and Pal Singh Ji here today as well um, when it comes to the Guru Mukh series. And just straight away, who was Sant Baba Sundar Singh Ji then? So with Guru Sahib Ji's Kirpa, we've had a chance to look at various Gursik Jeevaniya. The, those Jeevaniya as well, we have done a lot of work because like we were discussing, the Jeevaniya of these Gurmukhs, the Beyant. And in reality, we can't even encapture the Jeevaniya of a Gursik in thousands of volumes. Because Jo Gursik Kada Jeevan Hagaya, it's uh, every single breath is devoted to Vaheguru. So, how are you supposed to capture everything? Anji. But then the main seva that Mahapurush or Gursiks have done in their life, we're able to see that and Gursiks have written about it. So Santigani Sundar Singh Ji is a Mahapurush who created many Mahapurush. The Santigani Guru Bachan Singh Ji, we always usually start with something from Sant Guru Bachan Singh Ji. Like Pai Sapai and Tir Singh Ji, we started with mm. something that Santigani Guru Bachan Singh Ji wrote about them. And in the same way, this is now the teacher of Santigani Guru Bachan Singh Ji. And not only the teacher, you'll see about how Santigani Guru Bachan Singh Ji writes about Santigani Sundar Singh Ji, about what their relationship was. So you have a, a relationship of a teacher and a student, but then you have a relationship of someone who's actually joined you to Guru Sahib. And that takes on a different level. Mm. So just to start this podcast, we'll go through one body out of Santigani Guru Bachan Singh Ji's own writing. And we'll go through that later about the grants that they've written. So Santagyani Guru Bachchan Singh Ji writes, Man naam preet me jodan har so, Sant Sundar Singh me balhari. So they write that Santagyani Sundar Singh Ji, I'm a sacrifice to you, that I will give my life for you. Why? Because man naam preet me jodan har. Because you are the one who joined my mind with naam, mm. with Vahiguru's naam. My head is always at your charan. Thade charna te. Te rasna jas gaave prem singari. Te prem de singar de naal. Singar means to embellish something, to decorate something. That with the embellishment of love, I sing your praises. Man naam te aave vaheguru saad braham gyan date upakari. That with your kirpa, because... What are Mahapurusha, what are Gursiks? Sant Sahai Jiya Ke Pav Jal Taran Har. Oh, many other Pankhtiya in Guru Granth Sahib Ji Maharaj, where Guru Sahib Ji says that these Gursiks are there to join us to Vaheguru. Mm. And what does Sant Gyanik Guru Bachchan Singh Ji say? Man naam te ave Vaheguru Sad. That with your upakar, upakar means with your benevolence, my mind is always reciting Vaheguru. Mm. Ikta hai gana rasna de naal with our tongue reciting Vaheguru. We make an effort to recite Vaheguru. But with the kirpa of the, uh, the true guru, uh, avastha comes where even the rasna doesn't need to be moving and the naam is always going on inside. So that happens with the sad sangat. That connection of the sad sangat is important. Anji. Or what Guru Sahib says, it's impossible to get that without the sad sangat. So man naam te ave vahe guru sad brahm gyan date opakari. That you are the giver of brahm gyan. Because it's through the Sangat of a Brahmagyani, of a Gursik, that one can attain those heights. And look at the Nimrata. Main nahe kash neh mera ko jag, aap sada mero hai so adari. And this shows the relationship that Santigyani Guru Bachchan Singh Ji had, or the prem they had for Santigyani Sundar Singh Ji says. Uh, Santigyani Sundar Singh Ji. Wo kende ya, main nahe kashu, ke I am no one. Neh mera ko jag, and in this world I have no one. 
aap sada moro hai so adari but only you have forever been my support mm. so that's the prem they had with sant gyani sundar singh ji and we already been through two episodes already on sant gyani gurbachan singh ji and in the first episode we did mention sant gyani sundar singh ji and we did mention a little bit about them but the idea here in this uh, podcast is to go back in time now and look at their jeevan that who is this great mahapurush inspired someone like sant gyani gurbachan singh ji mm. and sant gyani gurbachan singh ji is someone who uh, the whole world there's no one in the world in the sikh world that doesn't know the name mm. that's how much prachar they did so who inspired them han ji they hopefully we can add this in um i was listening to a katha of sant gyani gurbachan singh ji where they talk about sant gyani sundar singh ji and they say so just to set the scene of how much sant gyani sundar singh ji did because we're living in an age now where everything is live right han ji like someone does a little bit and we know what they've done mm but we're talking about in a time when there was nothing there was no one taking photos of you there was no one putting stuff on social media everything was just you did it because you had prayed for maharaj and there's no other uh, motive behind it mm. and sant gyani gurbachan singh ji writes that they used to write diaries so when they were with sant uh, gyani sundar singh ji they would write in diaries how many people were taking amrit so wherever they're going and sant gyani sundar singh ji just like sant gyani gurbachan singh ji wo chakravarti ho ke prachar karde si meaning that they didn't stay in one place they went everywhere and in the next podcast i don't think we'll we'll have time to go through it today but the places where sant gyani sundar singh ji went is quite crazy like they went all the way to the south of india they went all the way to kashmir even up to kabul so afghanistan that's how much prachar they did the sant guru bachan singh ji writes that or he says they say in their katha that in the diaries they used to have or they which they've noted how many people took amrit from sant gyani sundar singh ji's inspiration mm. so when mahapurush go to a certain village utthe ja ke prachar karna katha karna and these are the words of sant gyani gurupachan singh ji we we'll put it in the podcast as well that they they said that ek vari katha sun ke singh mast ho jande si mm. usi waqt uth jande si apa amrit chakna like that was the kamai of sant gyani sundar singh ji and sant guru bachan singh ji writes that in their notes from their diaries das lakh uh, gursik took amrit wow. so das lakh is 1 million mm. that's how much prachar sant gyani sundar singh ji did and it's only uh, it's also interesting they only lived for 47 years so they had a very short life under mm. half a century mm. inna sama mahapurushane guru sahib di kripa de naal das how much prachar they did and who knows even more than that cuz sant gyani guru bachan singh ji came at a certain time Mm. into sant gani sundar singh ji's life mm. so who knows before that how much uh, lokan ne amre shakya takriban sar sangat ji das diyan dairiyan likhiyan hoyan hai 10 lakh aadmi nu amre shaka ke guru ke jahaj te chaadya ikki katha shri guru granth sahib ji diyan aap ne kitiyan ikki katha karke ikki vi katha jehdi si maal di var ve char shlok hoye san ohna shlokan di se bhog pa ke kya vi hun hor koi singh karega ਇਸ ਕਰਕੇ ਸੰਗਤ ਨੇ ਦੇ ਵਿੱਚ ਦਾਹ ਤੇ ਤਾਈ ਆਗਿਆ ਕੀਤੀ ਕਿ ਤੂੰ ਇਹ ਸੇਵਾ ਨੂੰ ਜਿੰਨਾ ਚਿਰ ਜਿਉਂਦਾ ਰਹੀ ਉਹਨਾਂ ਚਿਰ ਇਹ ਸੇਵਾ ਕਰਦੇ ਰਹਿਣਾ ਸੋ ਦਸ ਜਸ ਸੇਇੰਗ ਦ ਸੀਨ ਅਬਾਊਟ ਹੂ ਸੰਤ ਗਿਆਨੀ ਸੁੰਦਰ ਸਿੰਘ ਜੀ ਵਾਸ ਐਂਡ ਦ ਥਿੰਗ ਇਜ਼ ਥੇਰ ਸੋ ਮਚ ਇਨਫੋਰਮੇਸ਼ਨ ਔਨ ਸੰਤ ਗਿਆਨੀ ਸੁੰਦਰ ਸਿੰਘ ਜੀ ਦਾ ਆਮ ਨਾਟ ਸ਼ੋਰ ਹਾਊ ਮਚ ਵੀ ਆਰ ਗੋਇੰਗ ਟੂ ਬੀ ਅਪ ਟੂ ਗੈਟ ਇਨਟੂ ਤੇ ਹੋਪਫਲੀ ਵੀ ਕੈਨ ਕੀਪ ਥਿਸ ਪੋਡ ਦ ਫਰਸਟ ਐਪੀਸੋਡ ਜਸਟ ਔਨ ਦ ਅਰਲੀ ਲਾਈਫ and going into that stage where they started prachar similar okay. to how we did sant gyani gurbachan singh ji's mm. um just a quick overview sant gyani sundar singh did 21 kathas of uh sri guru granth sahib ji maharaj and from singa to jap bhi karaye so in gyan kirna as well is written and these other uh, granths as well that mahapurush would make the singhs do loads of part and the prerequisites to enter the jatha of sant gyani sundar singh ji was quite high and and it was changed in sant gyani gurbachan singh ji's time mm. but in sant gyani sundar singh ji's time you had to be someone doing panj granthi nitnam mm. or certain other uh, amounts of nitnam mm. if you couldn't do that you weren't allowed in the jatha was it harder than sant gyani gurbachan singh ji's time so in sant gyani gurbachan singh ji's time it was lessened mm-hmm. that you have to be at least doing your sat baniya han ji but in mahapurush sant gyani uh, sundar singh ji's time mm. all the things had to do cut to cut panch granthi on top of the other nitnam they jap ji sahib de paat singa to 
ਸੋ ਜਪਜੀ ਸਾਹਿਬ ਦੇ ਪਾਠ ਸਿੰਘਾ ਤੋਂ 1 ਲੱਖ ਤੋਂ ਵੱਧ ਪਾਠ ਸਿੰਘਾ ਤੋਂ ਕਰਾਉਂਦੇ ਸੀ ਸੋ ਥੀਸ ਲੋਡਸ ਆਫ ਸਟੋਰੀਜ਼ ਦੈਟ ਵੀ ਗੋ ਥਰੂ ਲੇਟਰ ਔਨ ਆਪ ਜਪੈ ਅਵਰਾ ਨਾਮ ਜਪਾਵੇ ਥੈਟ ਵਾਸ ਦੈ ਥੈਟ ਵਾਸ ਦੈ ਦੈ ਮਿਸ਼ਨ ਇਨ ਦੈ ਲਾਈਫ ਐਂਡ ਦੈਨ ਨਾਟ ਓਨਲੀ ਥੈਟ ਸਾਈਡ ਆਫ ਸੰਤ ਗਿਆਨੀ ਸੁੰਦਰ ਸਿੰਘ ਜੀ ਦੈ ਸਪਿਰਚੁਅਲ ਸਾਈਡ ਵੀ ਆਲਸੋ ਗੈਟ ਦੈ ਪੰਥਿਕ ਸਾਈਡ ਬਿਕਾਜ਼ ਯੂ ਵਿਲ ਗੈਟ ਪੀਪਲ ਹੂ ਵਿਲ ਮੇਕ ਸਰਟਨ ਕਮੈਂਟਸ ਅਬਾਊਟ ਸਰਟਨ ਮਹਾਪੁਰਸ਼ ਥੈਟ ਦੇ ਵਰ ਜਸਟ ਦੈ ਦੈ ਅਵਸਥਾ ਉਹ ਦੈ ਇੰਟਰਸਟ ਵਾਸ ਓਨਲੀ ਇਨ ਦੈ ਸਪਿਰਚੁਅਲ ਸਾਈਡ but what we see in all the mahapurushas whenever it came to do some uh, whenever it came to the panth they would always be at the forefront anji and that's a, that's a that's a side that i think sometimes we side track a little bit mm. because a lot of people would like to say ke oh jede mahapurush hoya inna ne to kuch kita nahi panth vaste mm. eta bas naam jappi gaye which is the greatest thing you can do anyway mm. but lok jede shanka vaddi or those people who have shanka or those people who like to create doubts in people's minds mm. they will say these sort of things that like, mm. what have they done for the pant we look at santagani sundar singh ji jeevan you can do a whole podcast just on their pantik seva mm. the morche they were in all the morche we look at in um, jato da morcha uh, a lot of in the early days of the singh sabha lair mm. muktsar saheb um, was basically brought back to the pant by santagani sundar singh ji mm. so both sakhya ya about their panthik seva and in a way they their sadir we'll find out in the next podcast the sadir itself they kind of gave it for the panth because they were doing so much seva that their their sadir couldn't take the weight of that seva that's how much they gave for the panth and then there's a lot of sakhya so people have read about santgani sundar singh ji they'll know some famous sakhya about them for example simran starts coming from the walls mm. of akal kutia in pindara anji and um dr dewan singh ji he checks santgani sundar singh ji's body mm. and wherever he looks he can only hear wahi guru simran from every mm. single room so all these sakhya sings <coughs> getting darshan of uh, maharaj all these sort of sakhya hopefully we'll go through them in the next podcast so mm-hmm. that's just to give you a bit of a idea of how this podcast will be because this podcast or this episode they say is going to be mostly about the earlier life mm. which a lot of people don't know about uh, and it's quite interesting even mm. speaking before the podcast because i asked mm. you a question about mm. what resources are available on something and some of those things you said there's a lot right Anji. so what we're going to be using today what have, uh, have you used so to a lot in terms of not a lot mm. in terms of like there's loads of volumes Anji. but there's a lot in terms of one specific grant Okay. So in 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 those who are watching it on YouTube they'll see that there's a grant here in front of me Sri Gurumukh Prakash grant. And this grant is basically what I've used as a a, a base for this episode. The this grant is written by Sant Gyani Guru Bachan Singh ji themselves. And they've written from uh, Sant Gyani Sundar Singh ji's janam all the way to the uh, antam sama in a lot of detail. Mm. So crazy detail. Let's just put it that way. <laughs> the the other book which is the the main sort of jeevani you get on santagani sundar singh ji's uh, life is amrit jeevan and is written by dr sher singh and dr sher singh um is an interesting character because he came to london and did a phd here okay. and he did a phd at the same university that i went to <laughs> and a lot of people don't know when i say the name of my university they usually don't know it mm. it's, it's soas a school mm. of oriental and african studies and in 1934 this this grant was published oh. and um dr sher singh ji was actually someone who took amrit from sant gyani sundar singh ji so he did sangat of sant gyani sundar singh ji he took amrit from their jatha and then he studied all of the katha of sri guru granth sahib ji from jathedar gurdyal singh ji and jathedar gurdyal singh ji was uh, one of the main vidyarthis of sant gyani sundar singh ji and a gurpai so like a brother of santgani guru bachan singh ji they studied together and not only did he have the sampraday vidya so the traditional learning then he came to london to study and he wrote a book called uh, philosophy of sikhism so i never say sikhi but that's the name of his book mm. and that book was basically his phd thesis and he published it the sgpc publishes it to this day you can still go to the office and buy it um so dr sher singh ji he was approached by uh, jathedar gurdyal singh ji and he wrote the jeevani and it's a very nice jeevani and i've used uh, uh, parts of that but the main detail i found is in sri gurumukh prakash granth 
um, which was completed in 1925 by Santagani Guru Bachchan Singh Ji. Mm-hmm. So most people will, will use that as a source. And what better source can you get? Sanji. Because Santagani Guru Bachchan Singh Ji is someone who spent so much time with them. And then they would have gone and asked everyone who did Sangat with Santagani Sundar Singh Ji. So you could say it's, it's like a first-hand source which gives us such a close uh, view of Santagani Sundar Singh Ji's life. Sanji. So just like previous podcasts, we always speak about um, the Mahapurish or the Gurumukh's family uh, and that kind of link as well. So who were the parents, who were the grandparents of Santhiganyu Sundar Singh Ji? So just to start with their Pind, which is Pindarkala in uh, Mugga. Pindarkala, like now the name Pindrawal is, is very famous. Hanji. Everyone knows it. But where did it start from? It starts from here. So... Santagani Sundar Singh Ji's family, we can go back to like their Dadda Ji. Their Dadda Ji was Pai Makhan Singh Ji. Their Daddi Ji or their grandmother was uh, Bibi Maan Kaur Ji. And they lived in Pindra, Pindarkala. And Baba Makhan Singh Ji, the grandfather of Santagani Sundar Singh Ji, Ovi Sadhu Birti Wale Sige. So we see this in the lives of Mahapurish. We can go back each generation and we see what their Birti was like. And birti means what their state of living or their state of mind was like. And otar matma sadhu birti wale, meaning that they lived a very simple life and their life as well was dedicated to Sikhi. They lived Sikhi. Not in that they went and did prachar, but just in the way they lived their life. So the thing that we see in their life, which is interesting, is that Baba Makhan Singh Ji would only eat that which they farmed themselves. So those kanak or those seeds which they sowed themselves, ploughed themselves, farmed themselves with their own heart, mm. no one else is kanak kadivini si shakade. So that's how much uh, nijam or like discipline they kept in their life. And they would never eat anything udar to borrowed from someone else or borrowing money from someone else or brought from someone else, market to the jake kridalana, kushni. Jo apne hati bija, so meaning that which they sowed themselves, they farmed themselves, uhi shakadesi. And then when someone lives like that, then they have a very uchi birti then. Because they're not relying, or they, there's no exchange of karam with anyone else. They're just mm. relying on themselves. They, we get a description of what they were like. Very tall. And they would only wear very simple clothes. And we see this throughout all the, the family of Baba Sundar Singh Ji. Mm. That, like a chaggi. Mm. So chaggi is not even like a chola. It's like a, like something you wear underneath your chola. They ohi pon desi. Kashara chaggi. They ovi khadar dai hunda si. So khadar, I don't know what they call it in English, but it's a very coarse cloth. They ojada khadar da kapra ohi rakh desi ke. They hath de vich sota all the time. They, but a de khlo like, we think ke Baba Makhan Singh ji lived up to 100 years old. We think they'll probably be using the sota to, as a support. Hmm. But Baba Makhan Singh ji used to use it uh, and put it on the shoulder. And they would just keep it as like a shastar. <laughs> so it wasn't they needed, meaning that right till their uh, last years, they never needed any support. Mm. They'd always keep it as a shastar. Mm. They never use it to walk as a sport. So that just shows the type of family that Santagani Sundar Singh is coming from. Mm. Like from the, uh, the very roots of Punjab, basically. Anji. That strong uh, Punjabi who is uh, Tarmi, Gursik mm. as well. And even in the old age, it's written in the grants, the, the books about uh, Sanji's Jeevan, that in the takde si, akri samay de vich vi, on saada ta, shote umad de vich hi glasses lag gaya. <laughs> sanu kush vini, glasses to bina sanu desa da hi ni kush. Mm. Right? But even in the old age, they had the best eyesight. Both vadiya eyesight si ona di. And ona da interest hi si ke gur sikha naal bena. No other interest, no other gal. Like we'll see some people in the pins, they might just come together uh, in the middle of the pin somewhere and sit down and have chugliya or whatever, or have uh, various discussions or debates. Mm. They would never do any of that. Serf sadhu santu ko yonda si ona di seva karni, ona nal baatna. So they passed away in 1903, and they had three sons: Baba Prem Singh, or Pai Prem Singh, Pai Khem Singh, and then Baba Khajan Singh ji. And all three of them. Baba Makhan Singh Ji made sure they all had Santhya and they all were parties of uh, Guru Granth Sahib Ji Maharaj. And then Pai Khem Singh Ji, the middle son, he was a Gyanni as well, meaning that he had studied all the Granths. And Baba Khajan Singh as well was a very big Vidwan. And all three of them kept the same Nijam. 
ਦੇ ਕੈਪ ਦਾ ਸੇਮ ਰੂਲ ਜੋ ਆਪ ਆਪਣੇ ਹੱਥਾਂ ਨਾਲ ਬੀਜਦੇ ਸੀ ਉਹੀ ਛਕਦੇ ਸੀ ਹੋਰ ਕਿਸੇ ਤੋਂ ਨਹੀਂ ਸੀ ਛਕਦੇ ਅਨ ਸੰਤ ਗਿਆਨ ਗੁਰੂ ਬਚਨ ਸਿੰਘ ਜੀ ਰਾਈਟਸ ਮੱਖਣ ਸਿੰਘ ਰਹਿਤ ਗੁਰ ਰਾਖੀ ਮਾਨ ਕੌਰ ਪੀ ਪਤ ਬ੍ਰਤ ਆਖੀ ਦੋਇ ਮਿਲ ਕਰਮ ਕਰੇ ਬਿਦਨੀ ਕਾ ਭੁਖੇ ਭੋਜਨ ਦੇ ਤ ਰੁਚੀ ਕਾ ਸੋ ਵਾਟ ਵਾਸ ਦੈ ਇੰਟਰਸਟ ਇਨ ਦੇ ਲਾਈਫ ਕਿ ਆਪ ਜਿਹੜੇ ਭੁਖੇ ਹੈਗੇ ਨਾ ਉਹਨਾਂ ਨੂੰ ਭੋਜਨ ਦੇਣਾ ਆਪਾਂ ਆਪ ਤਾਂ ਮਰ ਨੇ ਸਾਨੂੰ ਬਖਸ਼ਿਆ ਆ ਵੀ ਹੈ ਗੋਟ ਫੀਟ ਹੀ ਨਾ ਲੈਸ ਗੋਇੰਗ ਗੇ ਫੀਟ ਟੂ ਥੋਸ ਡਾਂਟ ਫੀਟ ਸੋ ਬਾਬਾ ਮਾਨਸ ਬਾਬਾ ਮੱਖਣ ਸਿੰਘ ਜੀ ਐਮ ਬੀਬੀ ਮਾਨ ਕੌਰ ਜੀ ਦ ਗ੍ਰੈਂਡ ਦ ਗ੍ਰੈਂਡ ਪੈਰੈਂਟਸ ਆਫ ਬਾਬਾ ਸੁੰਦਰ ਸਿੰਘ ਜੀ ਮੰਗਤ ਕੋ ਦੇਤੇ ਬੱਡ ਦਾਨਾ ਧਰਮ ਕਰਮ ਸੇ ਬੱਡ ਬੁਧਵਾਨਾ ਐਂਡ ਦੈਨ ਉਹ ਕੀ ਕਰਦੇ ਸੀ ਕੋਈ ਵੀ ਮੰਗਤਾ ਆ ਜਾਂਦਾ ਉਹਨਾਂ ਨੂੰ ਮੰਗਤਾ ਮੀਨਸ ਬੈਗਾ ਕਦੇ ਵੀ ਉਹਨੂੰ ਮੋੜਨਾ ਨਹੀਂ ਉਹਨੂੰ ਬਸਤਰ ਦੇਣੇ ਗਿਵਨ ਦਮ ਕਲੋਥਸ ਗਿਵਨ ਦਮ ਫੂਡ ਐਂਡ ਦੈਨ ਖੇਤ ਵਿਖੈ ਜਲ ਪੰਛਨ ਹੇਤਾ ਰਾਖੈ ਪਾਤਰ ਪੂਰਤ ਨੇਤਾ ਔਨ ਵਨ ਸਾਈਡ ਵੀ ਹੈਵ ਗੋਟ ਦਾ ਇੱਛਾ ਦਾ ਵੀ ਵਾਂਟ ਟੂ ਹੈਲਪ ਹਿਊਮਨ ਬੀਇੰਗਸ ਬਟ ਦ ਗੁਰ ਸੇਕਸ ਦੇ ਸੀ ਵਾਹੀ ਗੁਰ ਇਨ ਐਵਰੀ ਵਨ ਐਂਡ ਬਾਬਾ ਮੱਖਣ ਸਿੰਘ ਜੀ ਇੱਥੇ ਤੱਕ ਕਿ ਐਵਰੀ ਸਿੰਗਲ ਡੇ ਦੇ ਵੁੱਡ ਕੀਪ ਅ ਪਾਤਰ ਪਾਂਡਾ ਯੂਟੈਂਸਲ ਫੁੱਲ ਆਫ ਵਾਟਰ ਫੋਰ ਦ ਫੋਰ ਦ ਪੰਛੀਆ ਫੋਰ ਦ ਬਰਡਸ ਸੋ ਨਾਟ ਓਨਲੀ ਦੇ ਹੈਲਪ ਇਨ ਦ ਮੰਗਤੇ ਐਂਡ ਦੋਸ ਆਫ ਹੋ ਜਿਹੜੇ ਪੰਛੀ ਹੈਗੇ ਉਹਨਾਂ ਵਾਸਤੇ ਵੀ ਸੋਚਣਾ ਸੋ ਦਸ ਤੇ ਬਿਰਤੀ ਸੋ ਦੇ ਲਿਵਡ ਅ ਵੈਰੀ ਸਿੰਪਲ ਲਾਈਫ ਐਂਡ ਦੈਨ ਫਰਮ ਦੈਮ ਵੀ ਹੈਵ ਬਾਬਾ ਖਜਾਨ ਸਿੰਘ ਜੀ ਬਾਬਾ ਖਜਾਨ ਸਿੰਘ ਜੀ ਇਜ਼ 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 ਅ ਵੈਰੀ ਇਨ ਦੇ ਓਨ ਰਾਈਟ ਅ ਮਹਾਪੁਰਸ਼ ਐਂਡ ਦੇ ਜੀਵਨ ਇਜ਼ ਅਮੇਜ਼ਿੰਗ ਸੋ ਦੇ ਬੋਰਨ ਇਨ 1854 ਵਸਾਖੀ ਐਂਡ ਜਿਵੇਂ ਮਰਿਆਦਾ ਆ ਔਨ ਦੇ ਬਰਥ ਦੇ ਗਿਵਨ ਦਾ ਗੁਰਤੀ ਆਫ ਅਮਰਤ ਵੀ ਗੋਸ ਦਾ ਲਈ ਆ ਦੇ ਮਰਿਆਦਾ ਆਫ ਦਾ ਐਂਡ ਦੈਨ 5 ਇਅਰਸ ਓਲਡ ਬਾਬਾ ਖਜਾਨ ਸਿੰਘ ਜੀ is sent to the dera and the pind i think in the first podcast we mentioned this that in that time every single pind every single village was a center of learning now when we go to punjab you don't see this there's only like one or two places or a few places scattered around punjab where there's taksals or vidyalay mm. but imagine at that time every single pind had numerous vidyalay and we mentioned in the first podcast that the the british person who went there and surveyed all um the places of vidya during the the reign of maharaja ranjit singh and he said that in all of india this is the most educated place that's mm-hmm. how much vidya was in each pind of punjab so you didn't need to go anywhere far in your pind you had the greatest with the one sitting there mm-hmm. and baba khajan singh ji at 5 years old so if you're thinking what time do we start a kid santhya we see in we we'll see for baba sundar singh ji as well 5 saal se shuru karta they sent to the dera and the pind and they learned from pai sahab singh ji and they learned uh, the santhya of guru granth sahib ji in the uh, maryada of starting from nitnam and then panj granthi bai wara bhagat bani and then guru granth sahib ji santhya also itihas surj prakash all of that they learned it over many years that was their education they didn't have a worldly education as such all their education was gurmat vidya mm-hmm. and very soon they took amrit and then their nijam became very pakka of amrit vela they because they all had that nijam that rule in their life that discipline in their life they would only eat that which they had plowed themselves so they were all doing farming they naturally they were farmers the sandgyan guru bachan singh ji in their katha they write uh, they, they they say this that baba khajan singh ji <clears throat> jado unhone jana in the fields and starting they would start to farm the fields and plow the fields unhone panj granthi da paath karna and panj granthi kant si ona nu they they had all of panj granthi kant meaning they had it memorized and they wouldn't talk to anyone until panj granthi was complete so imagine how much time that t- that takes panj granthi the the part a few hours some we could say those who get it really really quick they can probably do it in less time but unna sama kise nal bachan nahi karne and kadi kise to shakna ni sirf apne feel to shakna bura kise ka nahi karte haq apne mein nit varte ganna saag shalli kis keri barte nahi pran aseri so we could say of lane us dusre bande de khet de vich apa boro kar sakde a there's a bit of ganne da a bit of saag da apne waste apa vart sakde a we can pay them idda bhi nahi karna which is a normal thing to do but this is their nijam in their life even from the next field they would never take anything or even buy anything or kuch bhi nahi ਜੋ ਆਪਣੇ ਫੀਲਡ ਵਿੱਚ ਆਪਣੇ ਹੱਕ ਦਾ ਹੋਣਾ ਉਹੀ ਉਹਨਾਂ ਨੇ ਛਕਣਾ ਤੇ
the ability that they could look after the fields you know? mm. they could do the farming so baba kajan singh he took agya from their father to go and do darshan of sri hazur sahib patna sahib anandpur sahib and they basically did like a yatra all around um india uh, even kartarpur sahib amritsar sahib nankana sahib partition had happened then so all these areas sare passe te ohna da avastha was baragi baba kajan singh ji ohna ek koi man de vich si ke mara de darshan hon and they worked towards that so 8 years after their ma- their mata ji passed away baba kajan singh ji didn't come home mm. they just spent that in yatra and doing bhakti all these asthans and then when um their father sent them a message ke hun ka raja te e vi ni ke they just ignored it wo agya kari vi si so they took agya from their father then they went and they stayed they did bhakti virakt ho ke virakt means without any attachment to anything and then when their father their pita ji gave that message ke hun ka ra hona ya wo vi usi samay aage so agya kari si ke te fir pita ji kehnde hun vyah kar la so they ran 20 28 years old when they 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 married to mata mehtab kaur ji ਤੇ ਜਿਵੇਂ ਮਰਿਆਦਾ ਹੈ ਕਿ ਦੋਵੇਂ ਤੇ ਹਸਬੰਦ ਐਂਡ ਵਾਈਫ ਸ਼ੁ ਬੀ ਅਮਰਤ ਆ ਰਹੀ ਸੋ ਦ ਕੰਡੀਸ਼ਨ ਦਾ ਦੇ ਹੀ ਫੋਰ ਵਾਸ ਕਿ ਇਹਨਾਂ ਨੂੰ ਅਮਰ ਸ਼ਕਣਾ ਪੈਣਾ ਉਹ ਅਮਰਤ ਨਹੀਂ ਸ਼ੀ ਸ਼ਕਿਆ ਮਾਤਾ ਜੀ ਨੇ ਸੋ ਪਹਿਲਾ ਅਮਰ ਸ਼ਕਿਆ ਫਿਰ ਉਹਨਾਂ ਦਾ ਆਨੰਦ ਕਾਰਜ ਹੋਇਆ ਤੇ ਉਹ ਜਿਵੇਂ ਵੀ ਹੈਵ ਡਿਫਰੈਂਟ ਕੇਸਿਸ ਵੇ ਸਰਟਨ ਵੀ ਹੈਵ ਮੈਨੀ ਫੀਮੋ ਗੁਰਸਿਕਸ ਹੂ ਵਰ ਸੈਂ ਇਨਟੂ ਦ ਵਿਦਿਆਲੇ ਜੋ no one was stopping them from learning vidya they were mm. sent but then you would have certain people who maybe didn't send their children or the 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 girls especially because of the sort of uh, culture of that time they due to that mata mehtab ko wasn't a padhi likhi nahi si meaning that she didn't know gurmukh kar so what baba ji did is then first things first or pehla cheez jo kita unhone kanth karaya japji sahab mm. ke tu japji sahab kanth kara bol bol ke kanth karaya fir aap hi sikhaya unhone ke edda padhna hai so we fir abhyasi ban gaye so the first thing they did is ke oto uh, mata ji to kanth kita japji sar ta ke tusi bas eda abhyas karo te mata ji while she is making the langar unhane japji sahab da abhyas karna kat to kat is written that mata ji would do 25 parts every day of japji sar that's the minimum she would do so not only did baba khajan singh ji learn um katha santhya they also learned kirtan so there's like a taksal um uh, a center of learning of kirtan in janeer it's a pind called janeer utthe ja ke they learn kirtan and jodi so they knew how to do kirtan they would do very nice uh, beautiful raag kirtan and their ichha was they would enjoy ke jehda shuddh paath karda na utthon mein paath sunna so jehda vishram sahi launda ya jehda akhar shuddh padda clear padda ya har ek saal ohna ne singa nu lya ke ਉਹਨਾਂ ਤੋਂ ਪਾਠ ਕਰਾਉਣਾ ਪਰ ਸ਼ੁੱਧ ਪਾਠ ਹੀ ਜਿਹੜੇ ਹੈਗੇ ਉਹਨਾਂ ਤੋਂ ਪਾਠ ਸੁਣਨਾ ਤੇ ਐਵਰੀ ਮੰਥ ਦੇ ਦਮ ਸਾਊਜ਼ ਵੁਡ ਡੂ ਗੁਰੂ ਗ੍ਰੰਥ ਸਾਹਿਬ ਜੀ ਮਹਾਰਾਜ ਇਸ ਪਾਠ ਸੋ ਇਨ ਵਨ ਮੰਥ ਦੇ ਵੁਡ ਡੂ ਅ ਸਹਿਜ ਪਾਠ ਆਫ ਸ੍ਰੀ ਗੁਰੂ ਗ੍ਰੰਥ ਸਾਹਿਬ ਜੀ ਐਂਡ ਐਵਰੀ ਮੰਥ ਐਟ ਦ ਪੋਗ ਆਫ ਦਾ ਸਹਿਜ ਪਾਠ ਦੇ ਵੁਡ ਡੂ ਅ ਮਾਸਿਵ ਲੰਗਰ ਬਹੁਤ ਵੱਡਾ ਲੰਗਰ ਕਰਦੇ ਸੀ ਐਂਡ ਦੈਨ ਜਿੰਨੇ ਵੀ ਗੁਰਸਿੱਖ ਹੁੰਦੇ ਸੀ ਉਹ ਦ ਵਿਲੇਜਸ ਉਹਨਾਂ ਨੂੰ ਛਕਾਉਣਾ ਐਂਡ ਇਸ ਰਿਟਨ ਦ ਬਾਬਾ ਖਜਾਨ ਸਿੰਘ ਜੀ ਐਟ ਸੋ ਮਚ ਬਾਣੀ ਕੰਟ that you could equal that much bani to 100 patre of guru granth sahib ji that's about 200 angs in that account si ohna nu of gurbani and as they were plowing their fields bas gurbani padhi jana abhyas kari jana they were just kanth to ha na inna ohna da abhyas si ga and then ik ta ho gaya ke apa apne vaste abhyas karna baba khajan singh would think about everyone else as well ona ne ki karna ke every single evening after doing their farming they read all that bani all day they done all their abhyas fir ona ne jithe guru kar hega ya jithe sare log ikatthe hunde si sham nu utthe baba khajan singh ne suj prakash di katha karni they would do katha suj prakash oh they would read the janam sakhi so like bhai bala ji janam sakhi they would get the poti sa read it and explain it to the sangat and sant gyan guru bachan singh ji writes that Baba Khajan Singh ji had a lot of prem for those who were disabled because those who for some reason due to their their karm um they're not in a position that we're in Baba Khajan Singh would think that it's our duty now that appa na di madad karni we have to help them mm. so those who are disabled Baba Khajan Singh ji would do their ishnan for them ona da ishnan karona ona de kapde tone ona nu bitha ke ona nu aap bhojan chakona mukh de vich pauna so that was their avastha 
ਸੰਤ ਜੀ ਰਾਈਟਸ ਡੁੱਡੇ ਪਿੰਗਲੇ ਅੰਧੇ ਸੰਗਾ ਕਰਤ ਪ੍ਰੇਮ ਬਹੁ ਇਨ ਪਿਖ ਅੰਗਾ ਭੋਜਨ ਬੈਠਿਆ ਦੇਤ ਸ਼ਿਕਾਈ ਬਸਤਰ ਧੋਵੇ ਨਾਨ ਕਰਾਈ ਸੋ ਦੇ ਵੁਡ ਗੈਟ ਦ ਦੋਸ ਵੁ ਡਿਸੇਬਲਡ ਦੋਸ ਵੁ ਹੈਂਡੀਕੈਪਡ ਐਂਡ ਦੈਨ ਉਹਨਾਂ ਦੇ ਮੁੱਖ ਦੇ ਵਿੱਚ ਇਨ ਦੇ ਇਨ ਦੇ ਮਾਊਥ ਦੇ ਵੁਡ ਪੁੱਟ ਦ ਬੁਰਕੀਆਂ ਦੇ ਵੁਡ ਫੀਡ ਥਮ ਦੇ ਵੁਡ ਵਾਸ਼ ਦੇ ਦੇ ਬੋਡੀ ਥਮਸੈਲਸ ਯੂ ਨੋ ਦੇ ਵੁਡ ਵਾਸ਼ ਦੇ ਕਲੋਥਸ ਗਿਵ ਥਮ ਇਸ਼ਨਾਨ ਐਂਡ ਐਵਰੀ ਸਿੰਗਲ ਡੇ ਇਨ ਦ ਸਮਰ ਪੀਰੀਅਡ baba khajan singh ji would go to the outskirts of pindarkala and there's a well there and <clears throat> at the outskirts you have these sort of roads which connect with different pinds you know and othe khas kar ke you'll find travelers and the travelers are less likely to li- likely to be in the middle of your pind they're going to be on the outskirts where the connecting roads are they roj baba khajan singh ji they would go to where that well is travel there during the summer and then they would take the water out themselves and taking water out of a well in that time it's not an easy task you have to be strong you know pani nu pehla pura bharna te fir you're pulling it out with a the rope they sara din jado samar da samaya because there's certain times where they're farming and then they then they're time off because they farm the crops are grown now uh, they've harvested and then in that time when they were free then they would spend their time in the summer period taking that water out all day they would take the water out and then they would do a shabil on the path now they will give it to those travelers who are who are passing so nal ohna ne jehde bhunne hoye shole a boil chick peas oh rakhne te jehde passing travelers ya ohna nu dena so he thinks about these things we just think about ourselves anji this is the the prime example of a gursik they actually live par upakar the life is there for other people so those travelers ohna nu fir shakona vi pani vi shakona te e this is their side of their par upakar and then we look at the Vid- uh, vidwan side um santagani guru bachan singh ji writes the very good party of dasam dasam guru granth sahib ji they both vadiya party si that ethe tak that people will come from far just to listen to them so like this is how much of a vidwan baba sundar singh ji's father was mm. both of a day vidwan and brahmgani mahapur se gaye and they had studied all the granth so we talk about all the granth we're going to hear what santagani sundar singh ji was taught by their father we'll hear that later about w- what their father knew and as we know the maryada of those who study santhya is where you're told that if you're taking this vidya there's one condition you can't take this and keep it to yourself and you have to give it to others the baba khajan singh ji kept that maryada and what did they do they made a gurdwara sahib so those who are fortunate they've been to gurdwara akhand prakash in pindarkala and that asthan is basically the place that baba khajan singh ji started I was started by Baba Khajan Singh ji. That's their tapasthan in a way. And that guru ka uh, they made themselves and then they would also teach children gurmukhi vidya. So they didn't keep that vidya to themselves. Gurmukhi vidya bal padave reh ras har roz sunave jai tha meli sath majari tah sakhi har roz uchari. So every single day they would teach gurmukhi vidya to the children. Every single day they would recite reh ras sahib to the sangat. and then whenever the sat was sat is what i talked about is like that area where there's that tree with like a platform around it with all the bazurg sit in the pind and usually they're sitting there doing gappa you know mm. baba ka jansi would go there they'd sit there and they start telling sakhiya mm. they make that atmosphere into remembering guru sahib so what was um sant baba sundar singh ji's parents or their pitaji's um devotion like towards vai guru ji then so we've mentioned a little bit already about the nitnam they do panch granthi every day mata ji do 25 japji sahibs um but we have certain instances in their life where they did certain bouts of intense bhakti mm. where we read about and um one instance we have is kattak purnamashi so kattanpur kattak purnamashi is uh, that blessed day when sri guru nanak dev ji maharaj took prakash and when it, uh, guru nanak dev ji maharaj's prakash came as i said before baba khajan singh ji had that yearning inside them ke guru nanak dev ji maharaj ki is darshan and baba ji did a pran they did a, a promise or they did a ardas to maharaj ke maharaj every single day main sukhmani sahib ji da paath karna but i'm going to stand on one leg and do it mm. <laughs> now i think why what's what's the point of that imagine the focus that you need and um the spirit the spiritual strength and the bodily strength that you need to do that to do that your man has to be ek man ek chit hai na dol nahi sakda banda te apata 
ਵਧੀਆ ਬੈਠ ਕੇ ਵੀ ਨਹੀਂ ਪਾਠ ਕਰ ਸਕਦੇ ਹਨ ਲਾਈਕ ਵੀ ਆਰ ਸੇਇੰਗ ਕੰਫਰਟੇਬਲੀ ਵੀ ਵੀ ਡੋਨਟ ਡੂ ਪਾਠ ਸਮਟਾਈਮਸ ਯੂ ਹੈਵ ਟੂ ਗਿਵ ਯੋਰ ਬੋਡੀ ਅ ਬਿਟ ਆਫ ਡਿਸਕੰਫਰਟ ਐਂਡ ਦੈਟ ਮੇਕਸ ਯੂਰ ਮਾਈਂਡ ਜੁਆਇਨ ਮੋਰ ਇਨਟੂ ਦ ਪਾਠ so as they say if you're sitting on a really nice uh, sofa or bed or mattress and you're going to do part on that for the man nahi lagna because you're going to want to go to sleep on it okay. and also something that's a bit more hard um or if it's like a really nice cozy room it's not going to work for your amritwala mm-hmm. so in the same way baba sundar singh ji said main ek latte khad ke roz shukmi sahib karna hai and amritwale and their ardas was that i'm going to do this for one year and all some of the which they would only eat one mutt of chane so one mutt means that like one handful of boiled chickpeas so we hear that baba deep singh ji as well they would survive on that as well so ek mutt chane de utte they would eat that and then unna ne sukhni sa da paath karna fir 25 japji sahib de paath whatever the nit name panch granthi everything they would do that and for one year until the next kattak puran mashi they did that job and they were full of barag in nabrag siga and the itcha was just guru sahib darshan den and guru sahib does give them darshan will will hear about that and then jive apa padde ana ek sikh do saad sang so when two sikh two sikh come together saad sang ban janda and when the husband and the wife are both on that path of gursikhi that becomes saad sangat so when mata mehtab ko ji saw the devotion of a husband ode man vich aaya main vi bhakti karni hai and this is going to come on to why baba sundar singh was born into their house because their parents were such great bhagats so mata ji saw the love that her husband had for guru sahib ode man vich vi aaya in her in her heart was mai vi bhakti kara she asked baba ji mai ki bhakti kara tusi ta ek latte khad ke sukhni sahib karde ha sanu kuch deo mata ji ne langar vi pakauna ha seva vi karni ha kar vi sara kuch kam kaaj karne ha so mata ji ne bahut seva karni hai sangat whatever whatever we heard already the sangat the, the seva the do of all the sangat of the village baba ji kehnde tu gurmantar da jap karna so mata ji started doing gurmantar jap wahi guru jap and that jap went to such a state that all her desire for sleep for food eating everything khatam ho gaya there was no desire bas ehi si main jap karna din raat us simran karde si fir and as a result we hear about different types of darshan uh, there's this pratak darshan when guru sahib comes right in front of you mm-hmm. you have darshan in front of you you have um, sarvan darshan you know, sarvan darshan we hear about guru sahib via katha you have chitra darshan meaning via photos or paintings we can see what uh, we we see them paintings we remember maharaj mm-hmm. um, and then we also have supan darshan supan darshan is where guru sahib ji gives us darshan in our dreams and ek raat maharaj ne kripa kar ditti when now she's doing simran day and night maharaj ne kripa karni hai na when maharaj gets happy they're going to bless so mata ji nu ek raat one night she had darshan of guru nanak sahib ji in a in a dream and sant gani guru bachan singh ji describes everything so they say mehtab kaur ko dars pyasa pat brat dharm prem jis rasa supan bikhe darshan har payo roop acharaj pekh bismay so that mata mehtab kaur who in her mind is only one pyas one thirst for the darshan of guru nanak dev ji maharaj and in a in a dream maharaj comes and that roop that form of guru nanak sahib ji acharaj acharaj means beyond words how are we supposed to describe it maharaj aap bayan tya de acharaj de beyond any sort of description and she's going to stay of ismad khuli aankh tabhi kya dekha guru nanak ji roop par ekha so this is what happened she got two types of darshan that day she got supan darshan and then you could just pass that off that was just a dream mm. she opened her eyes and what did she see guru nanak sahib just standing in front of her right. maharaj ke pratak darshan is all tan guru sam koye na tore apan prakash dikhayo mora gur ko bandan aan sukini sri gur prem basi pikhli ne te maharaj oh same inna prakash maharaj to aa reya ya da mata ji saying that there's no one equal to you maharaj that you have shown me that prakash you have shown me that light and she did matha te to guru sahib ji and she became uh, in trance in the love of guru sahib ji kahe prab teri ho kalyana sat naam hai ta hit thana tumre ghar bhagti ho dekhi prem basi mam darshan peki so guru nanak dev ji maharaj at that time see uh, guru nanak dev ji maharaj at that time they said to mata ji that tera kalyaniya yo mukt So the blessings first happened to Mata Ji. Mm. 
And they're saying that in your heart, Satnam, the name of Vaheguru is enshrined in your heart. And I have seen the Pagati of your house, Maharaj is saying. And in your heart, you have true love for Guru. You have true love for the Guru. Mm. That's why I've come to give you darshan. So in this way, when this happened, what chinta are you going to have of Janamaran? Manji. That's gone now, isn't it? Mm. And uh, Sanji writes, Mata pekhat gur tab gaye janamaran ki chinta kai. That when Maharaj uh, gave this darshan, and then Maharaj uh, alop ho gaye, and then all that chinta, that anxiety of reincarnation and all, that's all gone now. Because mm. you've seen Guru Sahib, you know. Maharaj ne kaita hon, bas kalyaniya, tiri muktya. So that's, that's Mata ji's story. And then, um, Baba Khajan Singh ji. Baba Khajan Singh ji, one year before the birth, of Baba Sundar Singh Ji. So this, every Gursikh should think, if we want a Gursikh to come into our house, are we doing the Pagti for that Gursikh to come to our house? Mm. <laughs> you know? So look at the lives of the Mahapurish, how much Pagti their parents had. And then Mahapurish are born to them house because of the Pagti of their parents. One year before the birth of Santagani Sundar Singh Ji, Baba Khajan Singh Ji did Chatti Lak Mool Mantar. Jaap. That is 3.6 million Jaap of Mool Mantar. And their Icha and that was for Maharaj's Darshan. So they didn't do it out of Icha that I want a child. Hmm. Their Icha was just Maharaj's Darshan. And then Mataji would do their Pachi Japji Sahib every single day. And then now the description of Maharaj's Darshan for Baba Khajan Singh Ji. Santgani Guru Bhajan Singh Ji writes, Khajan Singh Shatti Lakpaat Padi Mool Mantar Ki Thaat Ure pae dars gur paaya, gad gad kanth ruke man laaya. That when Guru Sahib Ji, Guru Nanak Dev Ji Maharaj gave darshan to Baba Khajan Singh Ji, gad gad kanth ruke. Yada matlab hai ga that um, they became into such a state that they can't even say any words. The words, they're not, nikal de ni, mukho. Sat gur sir kar rakhyo pina, charan pakade, chakar, charan pakrane ko chit chin dina. So, similar to the sakhi we hear of when, um, Guru Gobind Singh Ji Maharaj is going to Satchkhand. The Jyoti Jyot. Mm. And Guru Sikhs are trying to hold on to Maharaj's charan or touch their charan for the last last time, but their hands are just going through Maharaj. Mm. And Guru Sahib Ji, Guru Nanak Dev Ji put their hand on Baba Sundar Singh Ji's head. But when Baba Sundar Singh Ji the Mandevich aya ke, let me touch Guru Nanak Dev Ji Maharaj's charan, drishti pare haath ne aave, bad acharaj ridh mein bism aave. And they dis de ya Maharaj de charan, par haath ni so when Guru Nanak Dev Ji Maharaj looked towards Baba Khajan Singh Ji, Kirpa Drishti Dinal, Sadgur Kirpa Drishti Ko Hera, Param Nasyo Gur Drishtera, Ek Ras Nirakar Rang Pinang, Guru Nanak Ki Kirpa Kinang. So when Guru Nanak Dev Ji Maharaj looked with that glance of grace, all the Param, whatever doubt or whatever delusion that we're in, the ego, that was all destroyed. Maharaj destroyed that in one glance of their eyes. And Baba Khajan Singh Ji, who already were at such a high avastha, but they entered that state of Brahm Gyan, where ek ras nirankara rang pinang, that they became one with that, uh, that light or that color of Vaheguru Akal Purukh. Othe um, fere, we hear about a prophecy, we could say, or not even a prophecy, we could say Maharaj's Bachan, because Maharaj's Bachan is going to happen. Mm. Maharaj did this bachan at that time that in your house Baba Sundar Singh is going to be born. So Satgur Pagti Prem Salaha Devar Daan Tabe Mudapaha. Maharaj was very happy with the Pagti of Baba Khajan Singh Ji. And remember, their Pagti was not just for themselves, the Parpkar they did and others as well. Maharaj Uttavi Khushwe. They're doing all that job, all that Kamai, all the Gurbani job, all the Mool Mantra job, but then they're doing Seva of those who are poor, those who are disabled. Uh, of the travelers, of the whole village, joining all the village to Gursikhi. Think about how much they're doing. Every aspect of Sikhi, they're covering it. Maharaj Baut Koshwe, and they said, Tore putter hohe gur premi, tarta atam gyan sonemi. That your son will be a premi of the Guru and he will be a holder of atam gyan. Atam gyan means Brahm gyan, a knower of Vaheguru. Your son will be one with Vaheguru. You're going to have a Brahm gyan, you come to your house. Mm. Sikhi gurki siddh kamave, tuti brit boh gandalave. That your, your son will Kama Sikhi. And not only will he um, Kama Sikhi himself, Tuti Brit Bohagandalava, 
He's going to join so many people who are broken. Their conscience is broken for Maharaj. He's going to join them to Maharaj. And Maharaj then said, Aap japa japa nama prem ki sikhi tamma. He's going to jap naam himself. He's going to get others to jap naam. Aap japaona, dusra nu japaona ya. Aap japaona ya, dusra nu japaona ya. And he's going to be the tamma. Tamma means the house of prema pagati, of sikhi. When people see him, like we heard Sant Gyan Guru Bacha Singh Ji say, people would hear Katha once mm. and they would get in trance and they would take Amrit. Brahm Gyani Jeevan Mukta. He's going to be Jeevan Mukta. Maharaj ne pehla hi kehta. Nirankar mein ik ras jugta. He's going to be joined with the Nirankar ik ras. So Maharaj nu fir Baba Khajan Singh Ji ne seize chukaya. Te ona da fir tan ab maan mohe mit gayo man indre sahje vas payo. Sara tan ab maan, any attachment to the body, oh sara mit gaya, all got destroyed. ਤੇ ਇਵੇਂ ਫਿਰ ਉਹਨਾਂ ਦੇ ਘਰ ਤੇ ਫਿਰ ਮਹਾਰਾਜ ਨੇ ਇਹ ਕਿਰਪਾ ਕੀਤੀ ਤਾਂ ਬਾਬਾ ਸੁੰਦਰ ਸਿੰਘ ਜੀ ਜਿਸ ਨੂੰ ਕਮਨਾ ਸੋ ਇਦਾਂ ਇਹਨਾਂ ਦਾ ਜੀਵਨ ਸੀਗਾ ਲਿਓ ਬੇ ਮੋ ਬਾਤ ਦੇ ਜੀਵਨ ਵਿਚ ਇਸ ਇਨ ਅੰਮ੍ਰਿਤ ਰਸ ਪੋਥੀ ਇਜ਼ ਦਾ ਆਲਸੋ ਦਾ ਵੇ ਦੇ ਡਿਡ ਦ ਸ਼ਤੀ ਲਖ ਮੂਲ ਮੰਤਰ ਬਿਫੋਰ ਸੰਤ ਗਿਆਨੀ ਸੁੰਦਰ ਸਿੰਘ ਜੀ ਜਿਸ ਜਨਮ ਦੇ ਵੁਡ ਆਲਸੋ ਡੂ 33 ਮਾਲਾਜ਼ ਮੂਲ ਮੰਤਰ ਏਵਰੀ ਡੇ ਆਫ ਮੂਲ ਮੰਤਰ anyways ਉਹ ਤਾਂ ਪਹਿਲਾਂ ਵੀ ਕਰਦੇ ਸੀ ਤੇ ਉਹ ਸ਼ੱਕ ਦੇ ਕੇ ਵੀ ਸੀ ਅੱਠੀ ਪੈਰੀ ਅੱਠੀ ਪੈਰੀ ਸ਼ੱਕ ਦੇ ਸੀ ਅੱਠੀ ਪੈਰੀ ਸ਼ੱਕਣਾ ਮੀਨਸ ਇੱਕ ਵਾਰੀ ਸ਼ੱਕਣਾ ਬਸ ਤੇ ਉਹ ਸ਼ੱਕ ਦੇ ਸੀ 10 ਵਜੇ ਸਵੇਰ ਨੂੰ ਸੋ ਬਾਬਾ ਖਜਾਨ ਸਿੰਘ ਜੀ ਵੀ ਈ ਵਾਂਸ ਅ ਡੇ ਤੇ ਹੋਰ ਕੁਝ ਅੱਗੇ ਪਿੱਛੇ ਕਦੀ ਸ਼ੱਕ ਦੇ ਨਹੀਂ ਸੀ ਸੋ ਇੰਨਾ ਉਹਨਾਂ ਦਾ ਨੇਮ ਸੀ ਤੇ ਇੱਥੇ ਤੱਕ ਇਹ ਵੀ ਲਿਖਿਆ ਦਵਾਈ ਵੀ ਨਹੀਂ ਸੀ ਵਰਤਦੇ ਸੋ ਮੈਂ ਸਮਝ ਦਾ ਹੈ ਉਹ ਸੀ ਉਹਨਾਂ ਨੂੰ ਦਵਾਈ ਦੀ ਲੋੜ ਕੀ ਪੈਣੀ ਆ ਹਾਂਜੀ ਸੋ ਉਹਦਾ ਬਾਬਾ ਖਜਾਨ ਸਿੰਘ ਜੀ ਦਾ ਜੀਵਨ ਸੀਗਾ ਤੇ ਬੜਾ ਕਮਾਈ ਵਾਲੇ ਹਾਂਜੀ ਹਨਾ ਵੀ ਕੈਨ ਸੇ ਦ ਦ ਅਸਥਾਨ ਇਨ ਪਿੰਡਰਾ ਗੁਰਦਾਰ ਖਾਨ ਪ੍ਰਕਾਸ਼ ਸਾਹਿਬ ਵਿਚ ਬਿਕੇਮ ਲਾਈਕ ਦ ਸੈਂਟਰ ਆਫ ਟਕਸਾਲ ਦੈਟ ਵਾਸ ਬਾਬਾ ਖਜਾਨ ਸਿੰਘ ਜੀ ਤਪ ਸਥਾਨ ਦੈਟਸ ਵੇ ਦੇ ਡਿਡ ਦੈ ਤਪਸਿਆ ਸੋ ਵਾਟ ਵਾਸ ਦ ਬਰਥ ਲਾਈਕ ਆਫ ਸੰਤ ਗਣ ਸੁੰਦਰ ਸਿੰਘ ਜੀ ਬਿਕਾਜ਼ ਆਈ ਨੋ ਵੇ ਮੈਂ ਫਿਰ ਸੰਤ ਗਣ ਗੁਰੂ ਬਚਨ ਸਿੰਘ ਜੀ ਜੀਵਨੇ ਸਵੇ ਇਨ ਇਨ ਆਮ ਆਮ ਮਸਤਬ ਜੀਵਨ ਨਿਕੋਲ ਗਿਆ ਗਿਆਨ ਕਰਨਾ ਜਾਨ ਕਰਨਾ ਸੋ ਸੋ ਵਿਟਨ ਐਸ ਵੈਲ a little bit about sant gani sundar singh ji's mm. um janam sanskar as well right uh, uh, gurbani part darpan vich likhya hoya acha ji so when you read the whole janam sanskar section in mm. gurbani part darpan that's all based on sant gani sundar singh ji janam sanskar mm. that's why right, um so sant gani sundar singh ji is then born 230 am amrit vela savan di puran mashi and in the year 1883 and the whole janam sanskar so just read in the jeevan of baba sundar singh ji we can learn how we should do the janam sanskar when a child is born the first thing that baba ji did is aap ke shishnan kita te unna ne fir guru granth sahib ji maharaj da prakash kita kare and baba ji then performed the janam sanskar maharaj nu ardas kiti and they took the hukm nama sahib the hukm nama sahib that came at baba sundar singh ji's janam was bilawal mahalla panjwa santan ka suniyat prab ki baat ਕਥਾ ਕੀਰਤਨ ਆਨੰਦ ਮੰਗਲ ਧੁਨ ਪੂਰ ਰਹੀ ਦਿਨਸ ਅਰ ਰਾਤ ਸੋ ਦੈਟ ਵਾਸ ਦਾ ਹੁਕਮਨਾਮਾ ਸਾਹਿਬ ਕਰ ਕਿਰਪਾ ਆਪਣੇ ਪ੍ਰਭ ਦੀ ਨੇ ਨਾਮ ਆਪਣੇ ਕੀ ਕੀਨੀ ਦਾਤ ਆਠ ਪਹਿਰ ਗੁਣ ਗਾਵਤ ਪ੍ਰਭ ਕੇ ਕਾਮ ਕ੍ਰੋਧ ਇਸ ਤਨ ਤੇ ਜਾਤ ਫਰਮ ਦਾ ਹੁਕਮਨਾਮਾ ਸਾਹਿਬ ਇਸ ਆਫ ਯੂ ਸੀ ਐਵਰੀਥਿੰਗ ਦੈਟ ਇਜ਼ ਰਿਟਨ ਹੇਅਰ ਇਜ਼ ਵਾਟ ਬਾਬਾ ਸੁੰਦਰ ਸਿੰਘ ਜੀਸ ਲਾਈਫ ਇਨਕੰਪਸਸ ਆਫਟਰ ਹਨਾ ਸੋ ਇਸ ਪ੍ਰਕਾਰ ਬਾਬਾ ਸੁੰਦਰ ਸਿੰਘ ਜੀਸ ਨੇਮ ਇਜ਼ ਦੈਨ ਕੈਪਟ ਫਰਮ the first letter which was santan aap wo sant si ge par unna ne naam rakhya sundar singh mm-hmm. and then unna ne sundar singh naam rakhya te paath arambh kita so a lot of people before they started the part we can say that the janam sanskar was done the janam sanskar what is the maryada of janam sanskar because a lot of families don't know this maryada mm-hmm. and there is places uh, where these sort of things are still kept as traditions in families for example in my family this is a tradition that whenever a child is born they do the janam sanskar even though they like my my uh, grandparents they hadn't read gurbani part darpan or anything like that it was just something they knew when you talk to certain families they don't know about this so janam sanskar is the first
Jalo, that's not possible, but uh, but as soon as possible, that child should be surrounded by Gurbani and Gurmantar. And the first sanskar is that Amrit, the Gurti, is prepared. And this Gurti is a very old tradition. So even in other sort of um, cultures, you'd see this tradition of Gurti. Well, the first thing the child is given is seen as very significant. So Sant Guru Bhatti Singh Ji writes, even Jare Pathan Hundesi, because those who are warriors, Right, they would give the gurti with a sword, mm. because the son of a warrior should be taking the first thing he takes from the sword. Andy. And even the patans, so other cultures, even they would give gurti from a sword. So whatever they would feed the baby first. When gurmat, the janam sanskar is, is that Amritari Singh will prepare amrit in a sarbulo bata. They would read japji sahib in a sarbulo da bata, put panch patase in. Read Japji Sahib, then with the nook of that karpan, they will give five boons, five um, droplets mm. to the child. That's the first thing that they get. And mm. to give the mata taqat. So that's the uh, gurmati gurti. And that's the first thing Baba Khajan Singh Ji did. So they shakad the amrit to uh, Baba Sundar Singh Ji. And then unane fir ardas karke sej patharam kar ditta. A lot of people don't know. Uh, this is a maryadda. Um sahaj paath vi arambh karna chahida ya. Sahaj paath kewe kita. When it da ho sakata, normally nowadays what we do is that we go to the gurdwara. If someone does uh, prakash a sahaj paath, they're just going to get the granthis to see paath kar lo at okay. the gurdwara. And the child will hear none of it. But what's unique about Baba Sundar Singh Ji's jeevan is, is that Baba Khajan Singh Ji brought Guru Granth Sahib Ji Maharaj to the house and then they prakash Maharaj in the room next to where uh, Mata Ji and Baba Sundar Singh Ji are uh, staying. And Othe Prakash Kita, they Jive Mariada Hegia, Kada Prashadi De Karke, they uh, Bachenu, Maharaj De Charna Charakya, Ardas Kiti, the Kushi De Shabad Pade, and Othe uh, Sand Guru, Guru Bachi Singh Ji has written this as well, that Onan is Sampur and Anansa, the Kitan Vikita. This is a Puratan tradition as well that a lot of people don't know about, but it's written in Suj Prakash. Um, when Baba Ananda Ji was born, because Ananda Sahib in the traditional Sampradai Uthanka, meaning the story behind Ananda Sahib, is that a sadhu, a yogi, came to Guru Amr Das Ji Maharaj and he asked Maharaj to give them mukti. So this is cutting the story really short. Mm. And Maharaj said that they know es janam which mukti ni you got one more janam. Mm. They, he had tried everything, he had all the riddhiya siddhi, had all the powers, but he said, Maharaj menu Ananda ni milya. I've got mm. no bliss. I've got loads of powers, I've got loads of glory in this world, but I've got no anand. Because that bliss is only going to come from the true Guru. You can try everything else in the world, it's not going to give you the true bliss. It's all temporary. So, Maharaj kende tu mere kaar de vich janam lala. And then, Guru Amar Das Ji Maharaj de Saputar Baba Mori Ji, una de kaar de vich Baba Nand Ji on there. And then the hukam, was to uh, when a child is born, they don't go straight um, to the elders or a few days is kept where the child is just with the mother. It's only after a certain or certain amount of days, then they go out into mm. the public. But Maharaj ne hukam ki ta isi waqt leo. And Baba Ananda ji, ujira shota bacha si, Maharaj ne apne godi vich unanu rakke, they recited an ansaib at that time. That's when Maharaj recited an ansaib. And they recite Anand Sahib, Osi Vakt Unu Anand Melagya, Brahm Gyani Mahapur Singh, Baba Anand Ji. And then, Guru Amr Dasi Maharaj gave hukam to Pai Ballu Ji, who was Maharaj Sevadar, get a Pakavaj. So Pakavaj is the Pratan, the old drum that used to be used in Gurukar. Um, get the Pakavaj, go on to the top of the Kota, the, the roof of the Kota, and now sing all of Anand Sahib. So, they have the Sharda then, that when a child is born, we're going to sing Anand Sahib as well. Hmm. And when I was reading this today, I noticed it. That mm-hmm. Sandhguru Bhatshin has written that Sampur and Anand Sahib they chali paudiya da kirtan kita jo tije paasha da hukam hash the hukam of tije paasha when a child is born sing Anand Sahib. So all Anand Sahib gao. So that's another tradition that we don't really have anymore. So fair o sami onane fair ardas kiti. What's the ardas we should do at that time when a child is born? What should we say to Maharaj? This is the ardas Baba Khajan Singh ji did. Ke Maharaj sikhi naam daan ishnan purosa bakshu. E ardas kiti. Devi guna, khalse wale guna baksho. That was Baba uh, Khajan Singh Ji's Ardas. They found out a part of Ramakita. Part of Ramakita, when they did the Ram, then the Hukunama Sahib came. 
ਐਂਡ ਦੈਨ ਫਰਮ ਦਾ ਦੇ ਨੇਮਡ ਬਾਬਾ ਸੁੰਦਰ ਸਿੰਘ ਜੀ ਐਂਡ ਦੈਨ ਉਹਨਾਂ ਨੇ ਫਿਰ ਕੀ ਕੀਤਾ ਦਾ ਫੋਰ 40 ਦਿਨ ਥਿਸ ਇਜ਼ ਦੇ ਓਨ ਸ਼ਰਦਾ ਯੂ ਕੈਨ ਡੂ ਦਿਸ ਹੈਜ ਪਾਰਟ ਇਨ ਵਾਟ ਐਵਰ ਟਾਈਮ ਬਟ ਇਟ ਮੇਕਸ ਸੈਂਸ ਟੂ ਡੂ ਇਟ ਸਲੋਲੀ ਸੋ 40 ਦਿਨ ਉੱਚੀ ਆਵਾਜ਼ ਨਾਲ ਦੇ ਡਿਡਨਟ ਡੂ ਐਨੀ ਆਫ ਦਾ ਪਾਰਟ ਗੁਪਤ ਹਾਂਜੀ ਸੋ ਇਨ ਅ ਲੋ ਲੋ ਵੋਇਸ ਦੈਟ ਯੂ ਕੈਨ ਹੇਅਰ ਇਟ ਸੋ ਮਾਤਾ ਜੀ ਐਂਡ ਬਾਬਾ ਸੁੰਦਰ ਸਿੰਘ ਜੀ ਇਨ ਦਾ ਨੈਕਸਟ ਰੂਮ ਬਾਬਾ ਖਜਾਨ ਸਿੰਘ ਜੀ ਡਿਡ ਦਾ ਪਾਰਟ ਲਾਊਡ ਇਨਫ ਦੈਟ ਦੇ ਕੈਨ ਹੇਅਰ ਇਟ ਸੋ ਦਾ ਚਾਈਲਡ ਇਸ ਹੇਅਰਿੰਗ ਆਲ ਦਾ ਪਾਰਟ ਦਾ ਮਾਤਾ ਦੇ ਕੰਨਾਂ ਦੇ ਵਿੱਚ ਵੀ ਬੱਚੇ ਦੀ ਵੀ ਕੰਨਾਂ ਦੇ ਵਿੱਚ ਸੋ 40 ਦਿਨਾਂ ਵਿੱਚ ਸਹਿਜ ਪਾਠ ਉਹਨਾਂ ਨੇ ਸੰਪੂਰਨ ਕੀਤਾ ਤੇ ਫਿਰ ਉਹਨਾਂ ਨੇ ਬਹੁਤ ਵੱਡਾ ਲੰਗਰ ਕੀਤਾ ਸੋ ਦਸ ਹਾਉ ਵੀ ਸ਼ੂ ਥਿੰਕ ਇਜ਼ ਵਾਓ ਕਿ ਜੇ ਆਪਾਂ ਸਾਡੇ ਘਰ ਦੇ ਵਿੱਚ ਮਹਾਰਾਜ ਬਖਸ਼ਿਸ਼ ਕਰਨ ਫਿਰ ਸਾਡੇ ਮਨ ਵਿੱਚ ਹੋਣਾ ਚਾਹੀਦਾ ਆ ਦਾ ਮਹਾਰਾਜ ਇਜ਼ ਡਨ ਕਿਰਪਾ ਇਨ ਅ ਹਾਊਸ ਦੇ ਹਵ ਗਿਵਨ ਅਸ ਅ ਚਾਈਲਡ ਬਟ ਨਾ ਦਿਸ ਚਾਈਲਡ ਵੀ ਹੈਵ ਟੂ ਮੇਕ ਐਫ ਆਰ ਸੈਲਵਸ ਇਜ਼ ਵਾਓ ਬਿਕੋਜ਼ ਇਟਸ ਦਾ ਇਨਵਾਇਰਨਮੈਂਟ ਆਫ ਦਾ ਚਾਈਲਡ ਵਿਚ ਇਜ਼ ਗਨ ਟੂ ਬ੍ਰਿੰਗ ਥੈਮ ਕਲੋਸਰ ਟੂ ਸਿੱਕੀ ਇਫ ਦਾ ਇਨਵਾਇਰਨਮੈਂਟ ਇਜ਼ਨ ਵਨ ਆਫ ਸਿੱਕੀ ਦੈਨ ਇਟਸ ਈਜ਼ੀਅਰ ਫॉर देम ਟੂ ਗੋ ਟੂ ਅਦਰ ਇਨਵਾਇਰਨਮੈਂਟਸ ਗੋ ਟੂ ਅਦਰ ਇਨਫਲੂਐਂਸਸ so just when it comes to jonas and scott mm-hmm. why is this done then why do we do a sad part you know the whole naming ceremony what is the significance of doing that why should people at home who are watching this podcast uh do this when they have a child so ek ta hai ga amrit da je gudti hai gi right sant gyan guru bach singh ji writes that doing the jonas and scott with the kirpan what that does it makes that child a bahadur it makes them brave that's the first thing they're receiving from the kirpan that blessed kirpan which maharaj says is the form of wahiguru mm. maharaj says that uh yahi hamare peer no so oh jada shastar hai ga oh shastar de naal kirpan de naal jada oh bacche da janm hunda hon har jeevan wala uche jeevan wale ho jande maharaj di kirpa de naal so oh bhagat hunde a brahm gyani maharaj bana dende a and then if you think about the surroundings that the child needs and dr sher singh has written about this that if you think about the child's mind like a seed that seed needs needs the right surroundings it needs the right soil the right nurturing for that to sprout so if you're not giving that and you just expect ke aap pe mara ne kripa kar deni ya na if you just have a seed on its own it's not just going to naturally start to sprout it needs the right surroundings it needs the right things given to it and the training of the child in in the house of guru nanak dev ji in the house of sikhi starts from birth um ethe ta ke uh, baba khajan singh ji they used to kirtan every day so during the 40 days aap kirtan karde si all that kirtan was going to the ears of the child all the part so before 40 days that child has already sarvan all of guru granth sahib maharaj's bani have we done that asaf yeah mm. <laughs> now we sarvan all of maharaj's bani so all that spiritual waves we can say that are going to the child is affecting their subconscious mind and is setting the the stone for their spiritual life the idda vi keh sakde ke not only is it affecting them doing that part charlie then imagine the whole family sits down and they listen to that part for 40 days the child hears it but the family hears it as well the family is getting pavitra as well parivar nu vi vadha ho reya ghar da mahol ਜਿੱਥੇ ਗੁਰੂ ਗ੍ਰੰਥ ਸਾਹਿਬ ਜੀ ਮਹਾਰਾਜ ਦਾ ਪ੍ਰਕਾਸ਼ ਹੋ ਗਿਆ ਜਿੱਥੇ ਮਹਾਰਾਜ ਦਾ ਪਾਠ ਹੋ ਗਿਆ ਵਾਸ ਦਾ ਐਟਮੋਸਫੀਅਰ ਆਫ ਦਾ ਹਾਊਸ ਕੈਨ ਬੀ ਵੇਦਰ ਡੂ ਯੂ ਨਿਤਨਿਮ ਟੁਗੇਦਰ ਏਵਰੀ ਡੇ ਵੇਦਰ ਰੀਡਿੰਗ ਬਾਨੀ ਏਵਰੀ ਡੇ ਵੇਦਰ ਡੂ ਯੂ ਕੀਪ ਥਨ ਏਵਰੀ ਡੇ ਦੈਟਸ ਗੋਇੰਗ ਟੂ ਬੀ ਸਚ ਕੰਡ ਦੈਟਸ ਗੋਇੰਗ ਟੂ ਬੀ ਸਾਧ ਸੰਗਤ ਸੋ ਇਮੇਜਿਨ ਦੈਟ ਚਾਈਲਡ ਇਜ਼ ਬੀਂਗ ਬ੍ਰੋਟ ਅਪ ਇਨ ਸਾਧ ਸੰਗਤ ਇਸਲਫ ਸੋ ਦੈਟ ਇਜ਼ ਹਾਊ ਬਾਬਾ ਸੁੰਦਰ ਸਿੰਘ ਜੀ ਵਾਸ ਬੋਰਨ ਦੈਟ ਵਾਸ ਦ ਸਰਾਊਂਡਿੰਗਸ ਐਂਡ ਦੈਨ ਵਾਟ ਵਾਸ ਅ ਚਾਈਲਡ ਹੂ ਲਾਈਕ ਫੋਰ ਸੰਤ ਜੀ ਐਜ਼ ਆਲ ਇਨ ਟਰਮਸ ਆਫ ਹਾਊ ਦੇ ਬ੍ਰੋਟ ਅਪ ਐਂਡ ਇਨ ਕੀ ਸਾਖੀ ਐਜ਼ ਆਲ ਜੀ ਅਮ the first words of sant ji sant guru bachan singh ji likh deya that when they were two years old te vaak jehde hai ke oh shuru kar ditte jive mata pita hunde a they try to teach certain words to their children mm. te baba ji kende wahiguru bol hana wahiguru keh lage sikhavan balak pura kare na gaavan balak ya oh kive bol sakda mm. ਨਾ ਫੇਰ ਮੁਖੋ ਕਹਿ ਪਿਤਾ ਬੁਲਾਵੇ ਵਾਰ ਵਾਰ ਵਾਹਿਗ
ਮਹਾਪੁਰਸ਼ਾਂ ਦੇ ਜਿਹੜੇ ਮਾਤਾ ਪਿਤਾ ਸੀ ਨਾ a lot of rich parents at that time they would keep khidave khidave means like um baby says you could say mm. who would look after the children on oh ta jade vadde mara raje maharaj oh ta karde si na par baba khajan singh ji ta oh ta pind de vich they earn for themselves they made sabji they uh, they grew the the crops sabji on themselves for themselves they didn't uh, have a lot of money or anything like that so oh appi they would have to look after the the child they eh das de ha the every single half an hour baba khajan singh ji or mata ji would go to the ears of baba sundar singh ji the small child they they probably asleep kanna ve ja ke mool mantra pad dena every half an hour ha na they dr sher singh ji likhde ha ke baba khajan singh nu eh gal hundi si na ki jehdi birti ha na kadi pasu birti na baj jave ko jehda sada mind hai ga na it goes into that uh, that state um animalistic hmm ana they from birth they keep them away from that birthi of kaam kro lo mohankar ana every half an hour they would go mool mantra suna da they fair e vi si kadi da man chanchal na hove we see that baba sundas na man kadi vi ni si chanchal from their very early age they like would have certain certain uh, people where, where they have that stage and we all gone through that where we which am chanchal now right we have certain gurmukhs maybe they were in that stage where the word chanchal and mm. um onada jeevan pehla hor tarah si and then it changes it transforms with maharaj's kripa but baba sundar singh never had that mm. in their life there was no chanchal ta ever there was no um kusangat ever in their life they were kept away from that and baba khajan singh kehnde kadi ve de kan de vich bhaide bachan kadi na nikal any nindya anyone doing a gal nothing like that you know gurbani sunne and mata ji ki karde si mata ji would take uh, baba sundar singh ji in their godi nitnam sunona na they would recite nitnam to them in the in the young age so all they heard was nitnam and then we hear people sing like uh, songs to children and lullabies oh we can they sabad loriya dete rahe jagat sote naam suna jand jagdya when he was awake when he was sleeping baba sundar singh is only hearing naam ਬਿਨਾ ਨਾਮ ਨਹਿ ਬਾਤ ਸੁਣਾਵੇ ਗੁਰ ਸਿੱਖੀ ਜੀਵਨ ਪ੍ਰਗਟਾਵੇ ਵਿਦਾ ਨਾਮ ਉਹਨਾਂ ਨੇ ਹੋਰ ਕੋਈ ਗੱਲ ਕਦੀ ਨਹੀਂ ਕਰਨੀ ਟੂ ਦਾ ਚਾਈਲਡ ਹਨਾ ਤੇ ਤੀਜੇ ਬਰਸ ਮੇ ਲਗੇ ਖਿਲਾਵਨ ਮਾਤਾ ਪਿਤ ਸਤ ਸੰਗ ਰਚਾਵਨ ਦੁੱਧ ਪੀਏ ਰਹਿ ਸਦਾ ਇਕਾਂਤੀ ਜਾਪ ਵਾਹਿਗੁਰੂ ਦਿਨ ਤੇ ਰਾਤੀ ਸੋ ਵੈਨ ਬਾਬਾ ਸੁੰਦਰ ਸਿੰਘ ਜੀ ਵਿਸ 3 ਇਅਰਸ ਓਲਡ ਉਹਨਾਂ ਨੇ ਮਾਤਾ ਜੀ ਨੇ ਫਿਰ ਉਹ ਜਿਹੜਾ ਭੋਜਨ ਛਕਾਉਣਾ ਵਗੈਰਾ ਸ਼ੁਰੂ ਕਰ ਦਿੱਤਾ ਤੇ ਸਾਦ ਸੰਗਤ ਵਿੱਚ ਜਾਂਦੇ ਸੀ ਵਿਦ ਦੇ ਪੇਰੈਂਟਸ ਸਾਦ ਸੰਗਤ ਜਾਣਾ ਤੇ ਜਦੋਂ ਮਾਤਾ ਜੀ ਨੇ ਦੁੱਧ ਛਕਾਉਣਾ ਖਲਾਉਣਾ ਉਹਨਾਂ ਨੇ ਸ਼ਾਕੇ ਇਕਾਂਤ ਵਿੱਚ ਚੱਲ ਜਣਾ ਤੇ ਉਹ ਜਿਸੇ ਬਾਦਮ ਸਾਹਿਬ ਤੇ ਮਾਂ ਪੁਰਸ਼ ਕਹਿੰਦੇ ਜਾਪ ਵਾਹਿਗੁਰੂ ਦਿਨ ਤੇ ਰਾਤੀ ਦਿਨ ਰਾਤ ਉਹ ਵਾਹਿਗੁਰੂ ਵਾਹਿਗੁਰੂ ਜਪਦੇ ਸੀ ਦਸਤ ਅਲੀ ਨ ਦ ਵਰਡ ਦੇ ਨੀ ਸੋ ਇਨ ਦ ਇਨ ਦਾ ਏਜ 3 ਇਅਰਸ 3 ਇਅਰਸ ਓਲਡ ਦੇ ਡੂਇੰਗ ਅ ਬਿਆਸ ਆਲਰੇਡੀ ਤੇ ਚੰਚਲਤਾ ਨਹਿ ਕਬਹੀ ਕਰਹੀ ਪਿਤ ਜਮ ਬੈਠੇ ਨਾਮ ਸਿਮਰਹੀ ਦ ਅਦਰ ਥਿੰਗ ਇਜ਼ ਇਜ਼ ਵਾਟ ਵੀ ਸੀ ਚਿਲਡਰਨ ਡੂ ਦੇ ਇਮਿਟੇਟ Mm. So if you see the surroundings of a child um the child is going to imitate what their parents are doing. Mm. Te pita nu dekhna pita baith ke naam japda ya. Mm. Te baba sundar singh ne bhi baith jana naal. They would imitate the father unna ne bhi japna. Gurudware ne te pit sang jaai matha guru granth ko tikai. Every single day baba khujan singh ji would take baba sundar singh ji to the gurudwara sahib and do matha tik to sri guru granth sahib ji. Then there's a story about um what baba sundar singh used to do when they used to play with their friends so they're playing was unique as well wo ki karde si ke ohna ne jehde bhande si na karo all the different utensils ohna nu ikatthe karna and they start to place them on top of each other <laughs> so they're getting all the the pots and pans and they're like building something and by this time they could speak a little bit and mata ji said tu ki kari janda that you're messing up all the the utensils i kehnde main gurudwara banaunda Mm. I'm making a gurdwara mm. and in their life baba sundar singh ji made many gurdware that happened later on in their life mata ji fer upset ho jande si ke sara kuch un dobara dhona paina socha karna paina fer baba sundar singh ji used to go outside they'd find any sort of bricks broken bricks or stones fer they try to make a gurdwara sahib mm. and then ohna ne jehde koi kagaj hunde si loads of different types of papers ohna nu ikatthe kar lena te ohna nu kapde vich ban lena fer oh sir te rakh lena mm. they would take them and where they made that little structure ode vich rakh lena kande main prakash kar ditta maharaj da hai na te fer ohna ne you see i've seen children do this as well eh wo ki karde hai na 
they they give food out imaginary mm. food <laughs> huh? like you have these children with these fake uh, pots, pots and pans and stuff. and stuff and they start giving you Little tea and, and stuff yeah all mm. that stuff right baba sundar singh ji wo ki karde si oh panda leke na there's nothing in the panda the gets the pitta ji pitta ji prasad shako hmm huh kande dono hath dono hath this is written in the book they say dono hath dono hath karo then they go to the mata ji sare passe and then uh, even there by that time their brother their brother was born as well mm. and in the house of baba kajan singh ji two brahmanis were born baba sundar singh ji baba indra singh ji baba indra singh ji sant baba indra singh ji is born in 1886 so dove pra dove mahapur singh so pra kol vi jana mata kol kana done hath karo shakko so that's their whole childhood was uh, geared around sikhi you know so that was just their childhood uh, very briefly and then what about when it comes to actually learning gurmat vidya so you mentioned earlier they learned mm-hmm. that from their father so a lot of their vidya you be surprised because obviously everyone knows that baba sundar singh was the vidyarthi of baba bishan singh ji but as we saw with sant gyani guru bachan singh ji as well how much did they learn before they went to sant gyani sundar singh mm-hmm. ji uh, same baba sundar singh ji did a lot of their vidya before they went to baba bishan singh ji so when they were about 5 years old baba khajan singh ne dekh liya ki un e padhan vaste laya ke He's very hoshiar. He's already very sharp, saying all these words. When I went to Gurdwara Sahib, they just went to Granthi Singh to study. First, Gyani Mohan Singh Ji, his name was. And first thing they did is penti likhni, muharni sikhni. And then by six years old, one year, Baba Khajan Singh Ji was uh, sorry, Baba Sundar Singh Ji was doing Santhya Panch Granthi. So imagine that we have children coming to our class. You know? How long does it take them? Holy, holy, parde parde, they get to. Uh, nitya name mm-hmm. right in one year they done all all their uh, akkar muharni bal upadesh and they were on panch granthi and then they did up to 10 granthi so panch granthi baiwara pagd bani and they did 10 granthi and then baba uh, gyani mohan singh ji who was uh, mohar singh sorry not mohan singh they passed away that was the first ustad we can say the the, the village granthi uh, of baba sundar singh ji they oh same fer ਬਾਬਾ ਖਜਾਨ ਸਿੰਘ ਜੀ ਦੇਖਿਆ ਕਿ ਸੰਤ ਜੀ ਬਹੁਤ ਬਿਰਾਗੀ ਹੋ ਗਿਆ ਤਾਂ ਟਾਈਮ ਕਿਉਂਕਿ ਦਾ ਵਿਦਿਆ ਮੈਂ ਅ ਲੋਟ ਟੂ ਦਮ ਸਿੰਸ ਦਾ ਅਰਲੀ ਏਜ 5 ਇਅਰਸ ਓਲਡ ਦੇ ਅੰਡਰਸਟੂਡ ਦ ਕੀਮਤ ਆਫ ਦਾ ਵਿਦਿਆ ਹਨ ਦਾ ਹਾਊ ਮਚ ਹਾਊ ਪ੍ਰਾਈਸਲੈਸ ਇਜ਼ ਥਿਸ ਦਾ ਥਿਸ ਸੰਥਿਆ ਆਮ ਗੈਟਿੰਗ ਓ ਥਿਸ ਵਿਦਿਆ ਆਮ ਗੈਟਿੰਗ ਥਿਸ ਇਜ਼ ਨਥਿੰਗ ਇਕੁਅਲ ਟੂ ਇਟ ਇਜ਼ ਦਾ ਹਾਈਐਸਟ ਵਿਦਿਆ ਓਨ ਥਿਸ ਅਰਥ ਐਂਡ ਇੰਨੀ ਛੋਟੀ ਉਮਰ ਚ ਉਹਨਾਂ ਨੂੰ ਪਤਾ ਲੱਗ ਗਿਆ ਕਿ ਹੁਣ ਮੇਰਾ ਉਸਤਾਦ ਹੈ ਨਹੀਂ ਬਿਰਾਗ ਵਿੱਚ ਹੋ ਗਏ ਕਿਸੇ ਨਾਲ ਬੋਲਦੇ ਨਹੀਂ ਸੀ ਦੇ ਵਾਸ ਰੀਲੀ ਅਪਸੈ Baba Khajan Singh ne dekh liya unhon se main aap pe padhaunda hu so baba khajan singh ji started to teach cuz they had done up to uh, das granthi so the seven years old they started the santhya guru granth sahib ji and by in their seventh year on roz santhya karde si santhya ho gaya te bhog ohna ne fir paya te bhog te na baba sundar singh ji ne aap paath kita when they did the part all the bibbiya of the village they came to listen na te o then the uh, sand guru bachan ji writes what is the conversation of all the matas of the village to baba sundar singh ji's mata mm. right they're praising baba sundar singh ji 7 years old and they've completed the santhya of guru granth sahib ji so all the matas o kathe ho ke na they start to give vadaiyan to mata uh, mitab mitab kaur ji na kande putra to maro bad hi pura shuddh paath ko uchre bahut shuddh paath karda <laughs> sundar uchre rura kinna sona ade awaaz koel ki sam dhun ko kar hi koel is like a nightingale which is a very beautiful sound and the idda awaaz badi soni awaaz tikhi mitthi bani rar hi aiso baal na nain nihara deet bira go paaye udara and the bachcha pa kadi vi nahi dekhya ede bani ne sun ke sade vich vi bira ga gaya you never we hear bani from someone who themselves are connected to that bani and they they bira gi themselves fir oh thade vich vi aa janda hai whatever emotion they experiencing is very easy to tap into that emotion they ovi kende ke ta apa cuz oh nove paasha nove paasha de slok padde si birag de slok hai na and baba sundar singh ji read them in such birag the bibbiya auntie mata wo kende sade vich vi birag aa gaya hai na prem jagge sun gur ki bani hearing maharaj's bani read by baba sundar singh ji sade vich prem jag jag paya te rasna iski guni mahani so they they really play they 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 really uh, they really plays uh, praising baba sundar singh ji and they saying in ki sun bani man tik hai chanchal jo kahu nah ruk hai kanda saada man ta kadi nahi rukda our mind never stops is always idhar udhar bhajda ya hearing baba sundar singh ji recite bani saada man ruk gaya us waqt connected straight away the mata ji bahut khush hue 
ਪਰ ਲੁਕ ਐਟ ਦਾ ਵਰਡਸ ਆਫ ਮਾਤਾ ਜੀ ਨਾ ਮਾਤਾ ਜੀ ਨੇ ਕਿਹਾ ਕਿ ਹਾਂ ਆਪਾ ਪੜਾਇਆ ਆਪਾ ਬਹੁਤ ਮਿਹਨਤ ਕੀਤੀ ਸੁਨ ਹਰ ਕੀ ਮਾਤਾ ਕਹਿ ਬੈਨਾ ਗੁਰੂ ਨਾਨਕ ਜੀ ਕਰਨਾ ਐ ਨਾ ਗੁਰੂ ਨਾਨਕ ਦੇਵ ਜੀ ਮਾਰੇ ਦੀ ਕਿਰਪਾ ਆ ਮਾਰਾ ਜਿਸ ਦਾਨ ਦੀ ਕਿਰਪਾ ਆ ਵੀ ਹੈਵ ਡਨ ਨਥਿੰਗ ਸੋ ਦਸ ਦ ਵਿਦਿਆ ਦੇ ਗੈਂਗ ਫਰਮ ਦੇ ਦੇ ਹਾਊਸ ਹੋਲਡ ਹੈ ਨਾ ਤੇ ਫਿਰ 8 ਸਾਲ ਦੀ ਉਮਰ ਆ ਤੇ ਜਦੋਂ ਦੇਖਿਆ ਹੁਣ ਸੰਥਿਆ ਹੋ ਗਈ ਆ ਬਾਬਾ ਸੁੰਦਰ ਸਿੰਘ ਦੀ ਦੁਬਾਰਾ ਉਦਾਸ ਹੋ ਗਏ ਕਿਉਂਕਿ ਨਾ ਦੇ ਨੋ ਲਰਨਿੰਗ ਐਨੀਥਿੰਗ ਯੂਜੂਲੀ ਯੂ ਡਨ ਇਸ ਸੰਥਿਆ ਦਾ ਸੇ ਯੂ ਡਨ ਨਾ ਤੇ ਬਾਬਾ ਸੁੰਦਰ ਸਿੰਘ ਬਹੁਤ ਉਦਾਸ ਹੋ ਗਏ ਦੇ ਵਾਂਟ ਟੂ ਲਰਨ ਮੋਰ ਐਂ ਬਾਬਾ ਖਜਾਨ ਸਿੰਘ ਜੀ ਸੋਏ ਕਹਿੰਦਾ ਆਪਾਂ ਅਰਥ ਸਿਖਾਉਂਦੇ ਹੋਂ ਤੇ ਸਟਾਰਟ ਟੀਚਿੰਗ ਸਾਰ ਕੁਤਾਬਲੀ 8 ਇਅਰਸ ਓਲਡ ਸਾਰ ਕੁਤਾਬਲੀ ਦਾ ਸੰਥਿਆ ਸੋ ਥੀਸ ਆ ਥਿੰਗਸ ਪੀਪਲ ਯੂਜੂਲੀ ਲਰਨ ਵਿਦਨ ਲਾਈਕ ਪਾਸਟ 20 ਹਾਂਜੀ ਐਂ ਬਾਬਾ ਸੁੰਦਰ ਸਿੰਘ ਜੀ ਲਰਨ ਲਰਨਿੰਗ ਐਟ 8 ਇਅਰਸ ਓਲਡ ਸਾਰ ਕੁਤਾਬਲੀ ਪਾਵਰ ਸਾਮਰਤ ਵਿਚਾਰ ਮਾਲਾ ਅਧਿਆਤਮ ਪ੍ਰਕਾਸ਼ ਵਿਰਾਗ ਸ਼ਤਕ ਚਣਾਕਿਆ ਨੀਤੀ ਪ੍ਰਬੋਧ ਚੰਦਰ ਨਾਟਕ ਅਧਿਆਤਮ ਰਮਾਨ ਸੋ ਅਧਿਆਤਮ ਰਮਾਨ ਸੋ ਕਿਕਰੀ ਗੋ ਥਰੂ ਥੀਸ ਗ੍ਰਾਂਟਸ ਦ ਫਾਈਵ ਗ੍ਰਾਂਟਸ ਵੀ ਮੈਂਸ਼ਨ ਫਰਸਟ ਥੋਸ ਆਰ ਦ ਬੇਸਿਕਸ ਆਫ ਕਥਾ ਸੋ ਵੀ ਨੀਲਨ ਕਥਾ ਇਨ 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 ਐਨੀ ਟਕਸਾਲ ਦੈਟ ਹੀ ਚੀ ਸਾਰ ਕੁਤਾਬਲੀ ਫਰਸਟ ਵਿਚ ਇਜ਼ ਲਾਈਕ ਅ ਬੁੱਕ ਆਫ ਲੋਡਸ ਆਫ ਸੇਇੰਗਸ ਔਨ ਡਿਫਰੈਂਟ ਟੌਪਿਕਸ ਥੈਨ ਪਾਵਰ ਸਮ ਇਟਸ ਆਲ ਅਬਾਊਟ ਵਿਰਾਗ ਵਿਚਾਰ ਮਾਲਾ ਜ਼ੁਲ ਬਾਤ ਆਤਮਾ ਬਾਤ ਸੋਲ ਅਧਿਆਤਮ ਪ੍ਰਕਾਸ਼ ਬਾਤ ਆਤਮਾ ਵਿਰਾਗ ਸ਼ਤਕ ਗੈਨ ਇਜ਼ ਬਾ ਵਿਰਾਗ ਅਬਾਊਟ ਡਿਸਪੈਸ਼ਨ ਫਰਮ ਦਾ ਵਰਡ ਨੀਤ ਚਣਾਕਾ ਇਜ਼ ਪੋਲਿਟਿਕਸ ਨਾ ਪਰ ਬੋਧ ਚੰਦਰ ਨਾਟਕ ਇਜ਼ ਬਾ ਆਲ ਦ ਦੇਵੀ ਗੋਨ ਆਲ ਦਿਸ ਡਿਵਾਈਨ ਕੁਆਲਿਟੀਜ਼ ਐਂਡ ਥੈਨ ਦਾ ਬੈਡ ਕੁਆਲਿਟੀਜ਼ ਇਜ਼ ਆਲ ਵਾਟ ਡੂ ਕਾਲ ਥਮ ਡਿਮੈਰਿਟਸ ਨਾ ਕਾਮ ਕਰੋ ਲੋ ਮਹੰਕਾਰ ਐਂਡ ਦੇ ਹੈਵਿੰਗ ਅ ਨਾਟਕ ਇਨ ਬਿਟਵੀਨ ਈਚ ਅਦਰ ਪਲੇ ਐਂਡ ਦੇ ਦੇ ਸਪੀਕਿੰਗ ਇਨ ਬਿਟਵੀਨ ਈਚ ਅਦਰ so that and then adhyatm ramayan adhyatm ramayan is a spiritual version of the ramayan mm. which is basically again is a vedantic text so all these grants they learn it by nine <laughs> imagine that mm. all of that nine years old child one of those people about guru mukh de ya gur sikhi de philosophy bare kinna padhya hunda ya par baba khajan sinh ne sara padhata nine nine years old na te fer baba khajan singh ji ne inna vidya padhai ਪਰ ਫਿਰ ਵੀ ਬਾਬਾ ਸੁੰਦਰ ਸਿੰਘ ਜੀ ਨੇ ਖੇਤਾਂ ਵਿੱਚ ਜਾ ਕੇ ਆਪਣਾ ਕੰਮ ਵੀ ਕਰਨਾ ਸੋ ਦੇ ਗੇਵ ਬਾਬਾ ਸੁੰਦਰ ਸਿੰਘ ਜੀ ਅ ਜੌਬ ਯੂ ਟੂ ਗੋ ਐਂਡ ਗ੍ਰੇਜ਼ ਦ ਕਾਉਸ ਨਾ ਕਿ ਜਿਹੜੇ ਪਸ਼ੂਆਂ ਨੂੰ ਚਾਰਨਾ ਇਹ ਫਿਰ ਉਹ ਕਰਨਾ ਨਾਲ ਨਾਲ ਫਿਰ ਸਿਮਰਨ ਵੀ ਕਰਨਾ ਦੈਨ ਬਾਬਾ ਜੀ ਸੋਚਿਆ ਹੋਰ ਪੜਾਈਏ ਏਜ 10 10 ਸਾਲ ਦੀ ਉਮਰ ਆ ਪੰਜ ਦਸੀ ਪੰਜ ਦਸੀ ਇਜ਼ ਵੈਰੀ ਕੰਪਲਿਕੇਟਡ ਵਿਦਾਂਤ ਗ੍ਰੰਥ ਦ ਉਪਨਿਸ਼ਦਸ which is at the the base of vedant the original vedant um yog vishisht these are again very complicated texts about the atma you know the gita bhagavad gita so sri krishna ji's text about the atma then pai nandlal ji's ghazala oh bhi padhate pai gurudas ji's vara oh bhi padhate kabit sveye oh bhi padhate 10 years old <laughs> inna kuch padh liya by by 10 they fair at age 11 there's an interesting um anecdote here ਦਾ ਬਾਬਾ ਖਜਾਨ ਸਿੰਘ ਜੀ ਤੋਂ ਆਪਾਂ ਇਹਨਾਂ ਨੂੰ ਸਰਬ ਲੋ ਗ੍ਰੰਥ ਵੀ ਪੜਾ ਦਈਏ ਠੀਕ ਆ ਤੇ ਇਹ ਲਿਖਿਆ ਆ ਸੰਤ ਗਿਆਨੀ ਗੁਰੂ ਬਚਨ ਸਿੰਘ ਜੀ ਨੇ ਦਟ 11ਵੇਂ ਸਾਲ ਉਮਰ ਤਬ ਹੋਈ ਸਰਬ ਲੋਹ ਮੰਗਵਾਇਆ ਸੋਈ ਸੰਗਰੂਰਾਂ ਤੇ ਆਨ ਪੜਾਇਓ ਸੰਤ ਸੁੰਦਰ ਸਿੰਘ ਨੀਕੇ ਪਾਇਓ 5 ਰੁਪਏ ਭੇਟਾ ਦੇ ਕੇ ਭੇਜ ਦਿਓ ਪੜ ਸੁਖ ਸਭ ਲੈ ਕੇ ਸੋ ਇਨ ਦਟ ਟਾਈਮ ਐਂਡ ਈਵਨ ਇਨ ਥਿਸ ਟਾਈਮ देयर ਇਜ਼ ਨੋਟ ਅ ਲੋਟ ਆਫ ਮੈਨੂਸਕ੍ਰਿਪਟਸ ਆਫ ਸਰਬ ਲੋ ਗ੍ਰੰਥ ਇਫ ਆਮ ਕਰੈਕਟ ਪ੍ਰੋਬਲੀ ਆਮ ਪ੍ਰੋਬਲੀ ਰੋਂਗ but in the steek so the, the steek that was prepared by the buddha dal baba basanta singh ji of sarblo granth at the introduction is written that in terms of manuscripts of
تو اول اف سیری سال بگو عمران صاحب جی از وا ایج 11 تو بابا سندر سنگھ جی اینڈ دین پڑا کے دے ٹوک دا سرو بیک ٹو ننکیانا صاحب سو 11 سال دے وچ کنا کچھ انہوں نے پڑھاتا دسم گرو گرانت ساہی جی ساری سنتھیا دیٹ از دا از او 11 ایئرز اولڈ اینڈ سنت گرو بچ سنگھ جی رائٹس دا خاص کر کے خالصہ مہما دیٹ واز ا فیور اف بابا سندر سنگھ جی ا اول ٹائم دے کیپ ڈوئنگ جاب اف خالصہ مہما اینڈ دے بیکیم ا خالصہ ہاں دے ور نون از خالصہ جی دے لائف واز خالصہ سو اول ٹائم دے ریڈنگ خالصہ مہما سو ناؤ 12 ایئرز اولڈ 12 12 ایئرز اولڈ دس از جسٹ ریفلیکٹنگ ہاؤ مچ اف ا ودوان ہاؤ مچ اف ا سکولر دے فادر واز ہاؤ مچ دے دے نو 12 ایئرز اولڈ دے ٹو اول اف مہا بھارت ٹو بابا سندر سنگھ جی مہا بھارت از لائک اس 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 اکم میگا گرانت اس کریزی والیومز سارا پڑھاتا تلسی رامائن وہ بھی پڑھایا وچ از ا ورژن اف دا رامائن با تلسی داس اینڈ دین دے سو دا ائی ایم ٹیچنگ اول دیز گرانتس از ول اینڈ اٹس ویری امپورٹنٹ مارا جس سیڈ دا گورسک شوڈ لرن دا گرانتس اف ادر ترمز بیکاز یو کین گیٹ گڈ فرام ایوری تھنگ دے پھر بابا سندر سنگھ جی نو پھر گربانی دے ارتھا تے شروع کیتا افٹر اول دا دیکھو پہلا کنہ کچھ نے پڑھیا دین بابا کھجان سنگھ جی تو کہ ہونے نو گربانی دے ارتھ سو دے لیڈ دا بیس بیکاز گربانی از دا ہائیسٹ سو اٹس گڈ ٹو ہیو یور بیس اف سنتھیا فرسٹ بفور یو اسٹارٹ دیز گرانتس وی دیٹ از ہاؤ اٹس ٹو انٹیکس آل یو ونٹ اسٹارٹ ریڈنگ اینی کتھا والے گرانتھ بفور یو ہیڈ یور سنتھیا یو نیڈ اے گڈ اماؤنٹ آف سنتھیا بفور یو اسٹارٹ دم بٹ سم ٹائمز یو تھنک کہ سری گرو گران صاحب جی از ویری سمپل ٹو انڈرسٹینڈ ان ریالٹی گرو گران صاحب جی مہاراج از دا ہائیسٹ آف دا ہائی از نتھنگ ہائر دین گرو گران صاحب جی مہاراج and guru granth sahib ji maharaj's arth then is going to be the highest of the high so to understand guru granth sahib ji's arth the understanding and the sampradha in the traditional ways of learning is that you need to make a base first mm. you need to understand a lot of other things first and look how much baba sundar singh just how how much their mind broadened first fer ona nu panj granthi de arth sikhaye so first things first let's go to the arth of panj granthi then bai wara arth then pagat bani That's how they first started learning art. They went through them arts first of these, of these uh, Shote Granth, which they are in Santhya Valley. Now, when they were 12 years old, they started to learn Sanskrit, Devanagari, which is the script of Sanskrit. 13 years old, Baba Ji, they said, I have to learn Farsi. Baba Sundar Singh Ji, 13 years old. And when you have to learn something, you have to go to the expert. They went to Madrasa. Madrasa is where uh, Quran is taught. And they learned from uh, Fazal Deen Mullah. Utho Baba Sundar Singh Ji ne Quran bhi padhya. So they learned the Quran. They learned Farsi. And then, O dene ja ke parna, kar ja ke saari raat una ne gurbani da vyaas karna. Te, it was when they were 13 years old ke una ne phir yatra bhi kiti. Yatra una ne kiita, Amri Sar Sahib gaye. And they went to various dairy as well. And they started to see how Katha was taught. So as we mentioned before, at that time, wherever you went in Punjab, people were teaching and educating. And this Vidya, which now is really hard uh, to access this Vidya, if uh, so then when we go to Punjab, there's only a few places we can go to learn this sort of Vidya. At that time, every corner someone was teaching. That's how many Vidwans there were. And because we didn't give any Qadr of them Vidwans, that's why they cut it. And people's interest went to the other side. So, At that time, they go to Amritsar Sahib, they go to Sekhwa, which was a very famous uh, taksal at that time, uh, Giravidi Samparada, and they saw at all these places how Katha is taught. And that's creating in their mind, I want to stay with a Mahapurush and learn as well. So that's uh, setting that base for that. 14 years old. So we're going to try and go all the way up to, like, I think it was 19 years old or something. Mm. 14 years old, Dodar Nagar Jandaya. So Pitaji now gives them Agya, you can go and learn somewhere. Dodar Nagar, there's a very famous Mahapurush, Sant Ishar Singh Ji, Dodar Wale. And Uthe Dei Pandit Jeeva Singh Ji Sige. Pandit Jeeva Singh Ji was a very great Vidwan of Sanskrit. Vedant, uh, Yog Shastar, Vyakran means grammar, Kaab means poetry, all of that. He was an expert. So they go there, Pandit Jeeva Singh Ji called, they learn Sanskrit now. Sanskrit is very difficult to learn. So Baba Sundar Singh Ji has also read it. And... Baba Sundar Singh Ji was praised by Pandit Jeeva Singh. So at 14 years old, all these great Vidwans of the Pantha praising Baba Sundar Singh Ji. They say that 
ਤੁਮ ਤੋ ਕਹਿ ਕੇ ਸੁੰਦਰ ਬਾਣੀ ਪੜ੍ਹਤੇ ਰਹੋ ਕਿ ਆਖ ਵਖਾਣੀ ਕਿ ਤੇਰਾ ਇੰਨਾ ਸੁੰਦਰ ਬਾਣੀ ਆ ਪੜੀ ਜਾ ਪੜੀ ਜਾ ਹੈ ਨਾ ਦੇ ਵੈਰੀ ਇੰਪ੍ਰੈਸਡ ਬਾਈ ਹਾਊ ਬਾਬਾ ਸੁੰਦਰ ਸਿੰਘ ਜੀ ਯੂਸਟ ਟੂ ਰੀਡ ਸੰਸਕ੍ਰਿਤ ਐਂਡ ਦੈਨ ਲੈਨ ਵਿਆਕਰਨ ਐਂਡ ਵਿਆਕਰਨ ਵਿਚ ਇਜ਼ ਗ੍ਰਾਮਰ ਪਾਣਣੀ ਰਿਸ਼ੀ ਐਂਡ ਅਦਰ ਰਿਸ਼ੀਜ਼ ਉਹਨਾਂ ਦਾ ਜਿਹੜਾ ਗ੍ਰਾਮਰ ਹੈਗਾ ਨਾ ਹਮ ਐਕਸਪੀਰੀਅੰਸ ਆ ਕੈਨ ਟੈਲ ਯੂ ਇਜ਼ ਰੀਲੀ ਹਾਰਡ ਮੈਂ ਤਿੰਨ ਸਾਲ ਆ ਟ੍ਰਾਈ ਟੂ ਲਰਨ ਐਂਡ ਆ ਆ ਡਿਡਨ ਲਰਨ ਐਨੀਥਿੰਗ ਬੇਸਿਕਲੀ ਸੋ ਆਫਟਰ 3 ਇਅਰਸ ਇਨ ਯੂਨੀ ਆ ਕੈਨ ਸੇ ਆਮ ਸਟਿਲ ਐਟ ਦ ਦ ਬੇਸ ਲੈਵਲ ਆਫ ਇਟ ਇਜ਼ ਰੀਲੀ ਹਾਰਡ ਦ ਸੰਸਕ੍ਰਿਤ ਗ੍ਰਾਮਰ ਐਂਡ ਉਹ ਸਾਰਾ ਕੁਝ ਪੜ ਲਿਆ ਇੱਕ ਸਾਲ ਚ ਤੀਖਣ ਬੁੱਧੀ ਐਂਡ ਇਸ ਦ ਕਿਰਪ ਆਫ ਦ ਗੁਰੂ ਇਜ਼ ਨਾ ਸੋ ਉਹ ਸਾਰਾ ਕੁਝ ਪੜਿਆ ਐਂਡ ਸੰਤ ਗੁਰੂ ਬਚਨ ਸਿੰਘ ਜੀ ਆਪ ਲਿਖਦੇ ਆ ਜੋ ਕਈ ਸਾਲ ਮੈਂ ਪੜੀਏ ਵਿਦਿਆ ਸੋ ਥੋੜੇ ਚਿਰ ਮੈਂ ਪੜੀ ਪੜ ਪਿੱਦਿਆ ਦ ਜਿਹੜੇ ਸਾਨੂੰ ਪਤਾ ਨਹੀਂ ਕਿੰਨੇ ਕਿੰਨੇ ਸਾਲਾ ਜੀਵਨ ਲੱਗ ਜਾਂਦਾ ਉਹ ਇੱਕ ਸਾਲ ਸਾਰਾ ਕੁਝ ਪੜ ਲਿਆ ਹੈ ਨਾ ਗੁਰੂ ਦੀ ਕਿਰਪਾ ਆ ਸੋ 15 ਇਅਰਸ ਆਲ ਦੇ ਕੰਟੀਨਿਊ ਟੂ ਲਰਨ ਫਰਮ ਪੰਡਿਤ ਜੀਵਾ ਸਿੰਘ ਜੀ ਪਰ ਇਹ ਵੀ ਨਹੀਂ ਕਿ ਬਸ ਪੜ ਲੈਣਾ ਤੇ ਬਸ ਫਿਰ ਪਏ ਰਹਿਣਾ ਸਾਰਾ ਦਿਨ ਸੇਵਾ ਕਰਨੀ ਪੰਡਿਤ ਜੀ ਦੇ ਪੰਡਿਤ ਜੀਵਾ ਸਿੰਘ ਜੀ ਦੇ ਕੱਪੜੇ ਧੋਨੇ ਆਪ ਜਾਂ ਦਾ ਸੇਵਾ ਪਾਵਨਾ ਐ ਵੀ ਗੋ ਥਰੂ ਲੇ ਅਬਾਊਟ the importance of seva when you take vidya as well uh baba sundas you make their own food they don't rely on anyone in that dera to give them food and then baba uh, jiva singh used to get really happy seeing that they dekho 14 saal 15 saal da bachcha hai guys not relying on anyone aap hi sara kuch karda sade vi kapde dhonda hai so bahut khush hoye they gave them all the vidya in a small time phir oh aagya leke mata pita ji ko lage now they come back to the house 16 years old 16 years old ਪਿਤਾ ਜੀ ਨੇ ਦੇਖ ਲਿਆ ਕਿ ਇਹਦਾ ਦੁਬਾਰਾ ਚਿੱਤ ਉਦਾਸ ਹੋ ਗਿਆ ਵਿਦਿਆ ਪੜਨਾ ਚਾਹੁੰਦਾ ਹੈ ਹੋਰ ਫਿਰ ਪਿਤਾ ਜੀ ਨੇ ਹੋਰ ਗੁਰਮਤ ਦੇ ਗ੍ਰੰਥ ਪੜਾਏ ਸੂਰਜ ਪ੍ਰਕਾਸ਼ ਸਾਰਾ ਪੜਾਇਆ ਉਹਲ ਸੂਰਜ ਪ੍ਰਕਾਸ਼ ਨਾਨਕ ਪ੍ਰਕਾਸ਼ ਗੁਰਬਲਾਸ ਪਾਸ਼ਾ ਸ਼ੇਵੀ ਗੁਰਬਲਾਸ ਪਾਸ਼ਾ ਦਸਵੀਂ ਸੰਤ ਗੁਰੂ ਬਚਨ ਸਿੰਘ ਜੀ ਰਹੇ ਨੇ ਦਸਵੇਂ ਗੁਰਬਲਾਸ ਵੀ ਹੋਆ 500 ਸਾਖੀ ਕੰਠ ਕਰੂਆ ਸੋ ਯੋ ਸੋ ਸਾਖੀ ਵਿਚ ਇਜ਼ ਵਾ ਬਾਬਾ ਗੁਰਬਖਸ਼ ਸਿੰਘ ਜੀ ਬਾਬਾ ਗੁਰਬਖਸ਼ ਸਿੰਘ ਜੀ ਵਾਸ ਭਾਈ ਰਾਮ ਕੋਇਲ ਜੀ ਦ ਡਿਸੈਂਟ ਆਫ ਬਾਬਾ ਬੁੱਢਾ ਜੀ ਐਂਡ ਦੇ were given they were the ones put the tilak on guru gobind singh maharaj and after guru gobind singh maharaj is jyoti jyot pai ram ko ji used to get darshan of of guru gobind singh ji maharaj every single day until they went to sachkhand baba ram ko ji the singhs came to baba ram ko ji so a just to quickly give the context of this baba ram ko ji always stayed with guru gobind singh maharaj every single day they wouldn't eat until they had maharaj darshan and ਗੁਰੂ ਮਹਾਰਾਜ ਜਦੋਂ ਨੰਦੇੜ ਵੱਲ ਗਏ ਆ ਬਾਬਾ ਰਾਮ ਕੁਰ ਜੀ ਦੇ ਜੋ ਮਾਤਾ ਜੀ ਸੀ ਉਹ ਕਹਿੰਦੇ ਕਿ ਤੁਸੀਂ ਰਹਿ ਲਓ ਨਾ ਮਾਰਨ ਨੂੰ ਬੇਨਤੀ ਕੀਤੀ ਦਾ ਲੈ ਮਾ ਸਨ ਸਟੇ ਹੈ ਤੇ ਗੁਰੂ ਗੋਬਿੰਦ ਸਿੰਘ ਮਹਾਰਾਜ ਨੂੰ ਭਾਈ ਰਾਮ ਕੁਰ ਜੀ ਨੇ ਬੇਨਤੀ ਕੀਤੀ ਕਿ ਆਖੋਂ ਲਿਵ ਵਿਦ ਆਈ ਉਦਰਸ਼ਨ ਮਾਰਾ ਸੈਡ ਗੋ ਸ਼ਿਕਾਰ ਐਵਰੀ ਡੇ ਨਾ ਆਪਣੇ ਸ਼ਸਤਰ ਬਸਤਰ ਸਜਾ ਕੇ ਹੋਲ ਯੋਰ ਸ਼ਸਤਰ ਔਨ ਗੈ ਔਨ ਅ ਹੋਸ ਗੋਇੰਗ ਟੂ ਦ ਫੋਰੈਸਟ ਐਵਰੀ ਸਿੰਗਲ ਡੇ ਆ ਗਿਵ ਯੂ ਦਰਸ਼ਨ ਆਲ ਟੋਕ ਵਿਦ ਯੂ ਐਵਰੀ ਸਿੰਗਲ ਡੇ and every single day baba ram kur ji fir jande si into the forest there's darshan of maharaj every single day te idda vi si ke even after maharaj gave jyoti jyot fir vi darshan dende rahe i can't remember how many years it was jinne saal si ke na every single day darshan dende si and then pai sahib singh ji not the uh, from the panj pyare different uh, gursikh they came uh, to baba ram kur ji after maharaj jyoti jyot and the singhs were in a state of birag cuz maharaj is now ਅ ਲੋਪ ਹੋ ਗਿਆ ਤੇ ਸਿੰਘਾਂ ਨੇ ਫਿਰ ਸੋਚਿਆ ਬਾਬਾ ਰਾਮ ਕੋਇਰ ਜੀ ਕੋਲ ਜਾਈਏ ਕਿਉਂਕਿ ਦੇ ਗਏ ਦਰਸ਼ਨ ਮਾਰ ਜਾ ਵੀਡੇ ਵੈਨ ਦੇ ਵੈਂਟ ਟੂ ਬਾਬਾ ਰਾਮ ਕੋਇਰ ਜੀ ਦੇ ਸੈਡ ਕਿ ਸਾਨੂੰ ਵੀ ਦਰਸ਼ਨ ਕਰਾ ਦੋ ਫਿਰ ਯੂ ਕੈਨ ਕਮ ਵਿਦ ਮੀ ਬਸ ਆਫਟਰ ਮਾਰ ਜਿਫ ਦੇ ਗਿਵ ਯੂ ਦਰਸ਼ਨ ਇਟ
Santagani Guru Bachan Singh ji and he, ha- he had a handwritten Bansal Sakhi. Mm. And uh, Santagani Guru Bachan Singh ji said to the Sadhu ke uh, Sanu uh, Bakshish kar do, Singha nu apar pada sak deya. Sadhu ke hende ke you can't have the Granth. <laughs> But you can read it every day. And I'll give you this much time every day. You read the Granth, and then you have to give it back to me. Mm. And uh, Gyani Pritam Singh ji told, told us that um, they themselves uh, with other Singhs had to sit and sonar the whole poti to San, Sant Gyani Guru Bachchan Singh ji. So all the five Sosakis, they sonared it to, they, they recited it to Sant Guru Bachchan Singh ji. Then they had to give the poti back to that sadhu. It was a Udasi sadhu, they said. So then five Sosakis, Kant cry. <laughs> Baba Sundar Singh ji had the whole Kant. Then Prem Sumarag Guru Ki Rani Mukt Marag Bihangam Kani. So Mukt Marag Granth, Prem Sumarag, Sara Kush Padaya. They naal naal kheti kar de si. Swas swas vaig da naam japna. It's when they were 16 years old ke hun Mata Ji chadai kar jande ya. Then Mata Ji Kush Bukhar chadaya. Then Mata Ji noo pata lag gaya ke samaya. And what's interesting is, it's another thing to think ke jado sada ant sama hai ga na, we should try to minimize all sort of distractions at that time. It's not possible all the time depending on what Ant Sama is. Mm. But if you say that Ant Sama or you yourself are at someone's Ant Sama, then you should think that this time we have to be able to do this. If you think that the mind is not going to be able to do this, the mind shouldn't be engrossed in the world. It should be engrossed in Maharaj's Charan at that time. And then they'll go to Maharaj's Charan. So 40 days, when Mata Ji realized that my Sama is not going to be after she got really ill, for 40 days, who didn't say anything? Before, before she went to Sachkhand. They didn't talk to her husband, her children, nothing. What do we see in, in normal life? People want their children. Uh, they want to talk to their children in the last moments. You know? They want to be looking at their children. You know? they, in Gursikhi, yeah, your children can be there, but they should be reciting Bani to you. Mm. you know? That's what Maharaj, uh, what Mahapurusha is saying. Okay, oh, na, you need to think that the Ant Sama is the critical moment. Mm. <laughs> you know? if, you go into the, if your mind goes to the wrong, or, uh, wrong sort of Uh, state of mind at that time is going to take you somewhere else. Okay. It's written in Guru Bani, Antakal, right? mm. the Shabad, Pagat, uh, Tarlochanji, uh, I think. It's all written in there. So, Chali Dena Guru Mantar te ayo. For 40 days, she just started doing job of Guru Mantar, Ikantavich, by herself. Ho nir mohe sab te beri tiyage pran maat bin deri. Sara moh tiyagata. Maata is always going to have some sort of moh with the children, isn't it? 40 days, kisi nal, koi bachan balas ni bas. Both said that now she left her sereer. And this way, Mata Ji, Sant Gyanin Guru Bajja Singh Ji writes that Tan Aavana Mata Tera Tari Aap Jai Guru Purahera Tera Ona Tan Because he gave the word Aap Tatu Tari Then he gave such a son who brought so many into Guru Sikhi. So Baba Sundar Singh Ji didn't mourn the, the, the death of their, their Mata Ji. They accepted Maharaj's hukam. But one of their man which is the same thing. कि हम पिता जी है गए या माता जी हम सच खान चल गए या आई गॉट अ ब्रदर द ब्रदर इज ओल्ड इनफ इज मैच्योर इनफ ही कैन लुक आफ्टर द फील्ड्स कि मैं हूं आई वांट टू गो ऑन अ पाथ इन माय लाइफ वेयर आई कैन जस्ट स्पेंड इट इन सर्च ऑफ दैट साध संगत दे रियली वांटेड विद पूरन महापुरुष ओ दैट समर दैट दे वांटेड सो दिस इज 17 इयर्स ओल्ड ते बाबा सुंदर सिंह जी दा पहरावा की सी बस तेर के शहरा दा कफनी So they had a kafni, you can see in the pictures what they used to wear in that picture there. It's a very simple, uh, like a shirt, you could say, a kafni. It has no scene or anything, car scene now or anything like that. Oh, he pawned this, he could have pawned the other star. In now, not a pair of us, he carry nothing else. In now, he could have seen it. They also made a commander, see, Jawala Das, the 17 years old, a Jawala Das, Santa Jawala Das, G, very famous with the one. They, Even now, the Granth is sharped. So, Sar Kutavli by San Jawala Singh, um, which is probably one of the best arts of Sar Kutavli. And Gyani Pagwan Singh Ji, they had the original Granth. And then they got it reprinted recently. So, you can even get that from, uh, from uh, the bookshops in Amrasar. So, San Jawala Singh Ji was a very famous Vidwan. They were a mandal. Mandal means like a roaming jatha of sadhus. And I'm similar to how we say a jatha, but with the sadhus, they call it a mandali. They were just a mandali, see, na, Jawala Das da, wo Sant Sundar Singh naal mail ho gaya. Sant Sundar Singh is very impressed. Oh, we hear how much itcha they had for Vidya. They were thirsty for Vidya. They were ragging all with Sant Jawala Singh ji. 
the sanjwala singh then started teaching him more complicated grants vichar sagar mokshpant briti prabhakar these are like really complicated grants of vedanta o fer padhai so the indic philosophy uh, about the atma theek hai o padhe par sara din ohna ne padhna fer baki sara sama bhakti karna baba jwala das ji was very impressed o dasi ma par sige and there are a lot of sharda in guru nanak dev ji maharaj and in gurbani and like we read in sar kutavli there is that pangti and if you remember it about uh, don't study on these days anji like if you study on this day uh, the guru dies uh, sorry the the gurudev or the teacher the ustad he dies or the mm-hmm. <laughs> the student dies you know it dao likha hoya na ke or if if you study on ekam ekam is a certain day of the the moon If you study on that day, whatever you've learned, you'll forget it all. Mm. And that they didn't care. But my person John Day, those were there so people get shuttiya and they're something. Mm. Now because you're doing you're doing something every single day, and in the year you need certain days where you just have a bit of rest. So it that was our rakade sige. And ekam da jado din on da si there was no something at all. Now the shutti hundi si. And that's the time where you can rest a bit. You give your mind some rest, or you can revise what you re- what you read and so on. Apne samay de vechna. ਤੇ ਭਗਤੀ ਕਰ ਸਕਦੇ ਆ ਸੋ ਏਕਮ ਦੇ ਦਿਨ ਤੇ ਬਾਬਾ ਜਵਾਲਾ ਦਾਸ ਯੂਸ ਟੂ ਗੈਟ ਸੰਤ ਗਿਆਨੀ ਸੁੰਦਰ ਸਿੰਘ ਜੀ ਔਨ ਅ ਹਾਈਅਰ ਪਲੈਟਫਾਰਮ ਐਂਡ ਦੇ ਸੇ ਤੂੰ ਬਾਣੀ ਪੜ ਠੀਕ ਆ ਤੇ ਉਹ ਕੀ ਸੀ ਮੀਠੀ ਏਕਮ ਏਕਮ ਕੋ ਛੁੱਟੀ ਜਬ ਹੋਵੇ ਗੁਰਬਾਣੀ ਇੰਤੇ ਸੁਣ ਜੋਵੇ ਮੀਠੀ ਸੁਰ ਤੇ ਸ਼ੁੱਧ ਗੁਰਬਾਣੀ ਪੰਜ ਗ੍ਰੰਥੀ ਕੰਠੋ ਗਾਣੀ ਐਂਡ ਸਾਰਾ ਪੰਜ ਗ੍ਰੰਥੀ ਸੁਣਾ ਸੋ ਸੰਤ ਸੁੰਦਰ ਸਿੰਘ ਜੀ ਵਿਦ ਰਸਾਇ ਆਲ ਆਫ ਸੰਤ ਪੰਜ ਗ੍ਰੰਥੀ ਜਾਪ ਸਵਈਏ ਚੌਪੇ ਗਾਵੇ ਅਕਾਲ ਉਸਤ ਕਾ ਪਾਟ ਸੁਣਾਵੇ ਇਵਨ ਅਕਾਲ ਉਸਤ ਸਾਹਿਬ ਜਾਪ ਸਾਹਿਬ ਸਾਰਾ ਕੁਝ ਉਹ ਪੜਾਉਂਦੇ ਦੇ ਸਟ ਰੀਡ ਇਟ ਟੂ ਬਾਬਾ ਜਵਾਲਾ ਦਾਸ ਤੇ ਧੰਨ ਤਨ ਕਹਿ ਸੁਣ ਗੁਰਬਾਣੀ ਰਹਿਤ ਪਿਆਰੇ ਸੰਤ ਕੀ ਪਾਣੀ ਐਂਡ ਸੰਤ ਜਵਾਲਾ ਦਾਸ ਹੀਰਿੰਗ ਇਹ ਵੀ ਸਹੀ ਤਨ ਹੈ ਤਨ ਹੈ ਗੁਰਬਾਣੀ ਤਨ ਹੈ ਐਂਡ ਦੇ ਵਿਲ ਇਵਨ ਕਾਲ ਬਾਬਾ ਸੁੰਦਰ ਸਿੰਘ ਤੂੰ ਤਨ ਆ ਕਿੰਨਾ ਸੁੰਦਰ ਤੂੰ ਬਿਰਤੀ ਟਕਾ ਕੇ ਨਾਮ ਨਾਲ ਪ੍ਰੀਤ ਲਾ ਕੇ ਤੂੰ ਬਾਣੀ ਪੜਦਾ ਹੈ ਸੋ ਦੇ ਸਟੱਡੀ ਫਾਰ ਵਨ ਈਅਰ ਫਰਮ ਸੰਤ ਜਵਾਲਾ ਦਾਸ ਦੈਨ ਦੇ ਵੈਂਟ ਹੋਮ ਨਾਉ ਵੀ ਆ 18 ਈਅਰਸ 18 years they go to kumbh mela kumbh mela uh, we mentioned it in one of the the podcasts is the greatest gathering in india the biggest gathering all the sadhus all the different tarams everyone's there uh, all the pants the different sort of uh, denominations and akhade sare sadhu utthe fir gaye utthe fir they saw sant ishwar singh dodar wale and very impressed by their tyag and their virag they again is 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 pushing them to find someone a maaprish to serve a gursik to live with you know they utthe vi fir sanskrit padhya ek gyani bhagat ram so we can see they're going everywhere they're trying to find something but mildani what they really want mm-hmm. and i said so they're finding a lot of vidwans but <laughs> there's a certain bhagat ram and it said that he was a very great vidwan but his subha was uh hasmuk <laughs> now like we heard, we find we, we know certain people they're very hasmuk means that they're always joking mm. they can't do a gal without making it into a joke <laughs> you know they tichra vi karniya tichra means tichra ke andar english vich you know they were, uh, uh like tusi koi gal karde hai making that into a joke basically they mm-hmm. baba sundar singh ne ki socha je inna na rahange na sada virag tutt jana mm-hmm. assi viragi te aggi hai na inna na reh ke fir sansari kyunki fir sansari galla ja idda de hasmukh ja jadi idda galla karniya mm-hmm. ਉਹਨਾਂ ਨੂੰ ਸਹੀ ਨਹੀਂ ਲੱਗਿਆ ਉਹਨਾਂ ਵਾਸਤੇ ਇਟ ਵਾਸ ਫੋਰ देम ਸੈਲਵਸ ਦੇ ਡੋਨਟ ਲਾਈਕ ਹੈ ਸੋ ਉਹ ਫਿਰ ਉਥੋਂ ਚੱਲ ਗਏ ਤੇ ਫਿਰ ਸੰਸਕ੍ਰਿਤ ਦੁਬਾਰਾ ਪੜਿਆ ਮੋ ਇਨ ਮੋ ਡੈਪਥ ਇਨ ਧਰਮ ਕੋਟ ਫਿਰ ਉਹ ਪਿਤਾ ਜੀ ਕੋਲ ਆ ਗਏ ਸੋ ਨਾ ਵੇ ਵਿਟਰਨ ਅਗੇ ਕਲੋਜ਼ਰ ਟੂ ਦ ਸੰਤ ਗਿਆਨੀ ਬਿਸ਼ਨ ਸਿੰਘ ਜੀ ਫਾ ਪਿਤਾ ਜੀ ਕੋਲ ਆ ਗਏ ਪਿਤਾ ਜੀ ਨੂੰ ਦੇਖਿਆ ਪਿਤਾ ਜੀ ਦੀ ਵੀ ਇੱਛਾ ਸੀ ਕਿ ਮੈਂ ਜਾ ਕੇ ਯਾਤਰਾ ਕਰਾਂ ਸੋ ਬਾਬਾ ਖਜਾਨ ਸਿੰਘ ਜੀ ਦੇ ਦਨ ਗਟ ਹਜ਼ੂਰ ਸਾਹਿਬ ਐਂਡ ਦਨ ਆਲ ਦ ਰਿਸਪੌਂਸਿਬਿਲਟੀ ਆਫ ਦ ਹਾਊਸ ਦਨ ਬਾਬਾ ਸੁੰਦਰ ਸਿੰਘ ਜੀ ਦੇ ਬੈਜ ਹੁੰਦਾ ਤੇ ਉੱਥੇ ਤੱਕ ਫਿਰ ਆਪਾਂ ਪਹੁੰਚਦੇ ਆ ਕਿ ਬਾਬਾ ਸੁੰਦਰ ਸਿੰਘ ਜੀ 19 ਇਅਰਸ ਓਲਡ ਨਾ 19 ਸਾਲ ਦੇ ਉਮਰ ਚ ਕਿੰਨਾ ਕੁਝ ਰੈਡੀ ਤੇ ਕਿੰਨੇ ਵੱਡੇ ਵਿਦਵਾਨ ਆ ਤੇ ਉਹਨਾਂ ਨੂੰ ਤਾਪ ਹੋ ਗਿਆ ਸੰਤ ਗਿਆਨੀ ਸੁੰਦਰ ਸਿੰਘ ਜੀ ਨੂੰ ਤਾਪ ਮੀਨਸ ਇਲਨੈਸ ਹੋ ਗਿਆ ਬੁਖਾਰ ਜਾਂ ਚੜ ਗਿਆ ਤੇ ਉਹਨਾਂ ਨੇ ਫਿਰ ਇਹ ਠਾ
ਉੱਥੇ ਵੀ ਉਹ ਬੜਾ ਟੁੰਡਿਆ ਦੇ ਸਰਚਿੰਗ ਕੇ ਕੋਈ ਕਿਥੇ ਵੈਖਨਾ ਸਟੇ ਵਿਦ ਵਿਦ ਮਹਾਪੁਰਸ਼ ਵਿਦ ਗੁਰਸਿੱਖ ਵੈਖਨਾ ਡੂ ਦਾ ਸਾਧ ਸੰਗਤ ਤੇ ਬੜੇ ਵਿਦਵਾਨ ਦੇਖਦੇ ਦੇ ਸੋ ਮੈਨੀ ਕਿਉਂਕਿ ਅੰਮ੍ਰਿਤਸਰ ਵਾਸ ਦਾ ਦਾ ਸਿਟੀ ਆਫ ਲਰਨਿੰਗ ਐਟ ਦਾ ਟਾਈਮ ਐਵਰੀ ਸਟਰੀਟ देयर ਵਾਸ ਸਮਨ ਟੀਚਿੰਗ ਸੰਥਿਆ ਕਥਾ ਕੀਰਤਨ ਐਵਰੀਥਿੰਗ ਜਿੱਥੇ ਵੀ ਜਾਂਦੇ ਦੇਰ ਇਜ਼ ਮੈਨੀ ਗ੍ਰੇਟ ਸਕੋਲਰਸ ਦੇ ਗੋਟ ਆਫ ਨੋਲੇਜ ਬਟ ਇਟ ਵਾਸਨਟ ਵਾਟ ਦੇ ਵੇ ਲੁਕਿੰਗ ਫੋਰ ਇਨ ਟਰਮਸ ਆਫ ਦਾ ਸਪਿਰਚੁਅਲਿਟੀ ਤੇ ਉਹ ਚਾਹੁੰਦੇ ਸੀ ਪੂਰਨ ਸਾਧੂ ਵਿਰਾਗੀ ਸਾਧੂ ਗੁਰਮੁਖ ਹਨਾ ਦੇ ਵੇ ਲੁਕਿੰਗ ਫੋਰ ਅ ਵੈਰੀ ਹਾਈ ਅਵਸਥਾ ਤੇ ਫਿਰ ਟੂ ਕਾਈਂਡ ਆਫ ਰਸ਼ ਦਾ ਸਟੋਰੀ ਬਾਈ ਦੇਵਾ ਸਿੰਘ ਵਿਰਕਤ ਬਾਈ ਦੇਵਾ ਸਿੰਘ ਵਿਰਕਤ ਵੈਰੀ ਫੇਮਸ ਵਿਦਵਾਨ ਆਫ ਮਾਲਵਾ ਏਰੀਆ ਉਹਨਾਂ ਨੇ ਦੇਖਿਆ ਕਿ ਸਮਨ ਹੂ ਦੇਮ ਸੈਲਵਸ ਹੈਵ ਉਪਰਾਮਤਾ ਇਨ ਦੇਮ ਦੇ ਕੈਨ ਸੀ ਦ ਵਿਰਾਗ ਇਨ ਸਮਨ ਆਸ ਦਾ ਇਸ ਜੈਨੂਇਨ ਵਿਰਾਗ ਉਹਨਾਂ ਨੇ ਫਿਰ ਸੁਜੈਸਟ ਕੀਤਾ ਉਹਨਾਂ ਨੇ ਕੀ ਕਿਹਾ ਉਹਨਾਂ ਨੇ ਕਿਹਾ ਕਿ ਭਾਈ ਜੇ ਤੂੰ ਚਾਹੁੰਦਾ ਹੈ ਨਾ ਕਿ ਤੂੰ ਐਸਾ ਮਹਾਪੁਰਸ਼ ਦੇ ਨਾਲ ਮੇਲ ਹੋਵੇ ਜੋ ਪੂਰਨ ਮਹਾਤਮਾ ਹੋਵੇ ਉਹ ਗੁਰਬਾਨੀ ਇਸ ਸੈਡ ਦਾ ਜਿਨਾ ਸਾਸ ਗਰਾਸ ਨਾ ਵਿਸਰੇ ਹਰ ਨਾਮ ਮਨ ਮੰਤ ਤਨ ਸੇ ਸਈ ਨਾਨਕ ਪੂਰਨ ਸੋਈ ਸੰਤ ਇਫ ਯੂ ਵਾਂਟ ਦਾ ਪੂਰਨ ਸੰਤ ਦੈਨ ਆ ਨੋ ਵਨ ਤੇ ਉਹ ਗੁਜਰਾਤ ਜ਼ਿਲ੍ਹੇ ਵਿੱਚ ਰਹਿੰਦਾ ਡੋਂਟ ਗੈਟ ਕਨਫਿਊਜ਼ ਵਿਦ ਅਦਰ ਗੁਜਰਾਤ ਥਿਸ ਇਜ਼ ਦ ਗੁਜਰਾਤ ਵਿਚ ਵਾਸ ਇਨ ਪੰਜਾਬ ਤੇ ਇਹ ਹੁਣ ਪਾਕਿਸਤਾਨ ਵਿੱਚ ਏਰੀਆ ਵਿੱਚ ਚਲ ਗਿਆ ਆ ਤੇ ਉੱਥੇ ਮੁਰਾਲਾ ਪਿੰਡ ਮੁਰਾਲਾ ਪਿੰਡ ਉਹ ਕਹਿੰਦੇ ਪੂਰਨ ਸੰਤ ਮਹਾਤਮਾ ਬਾਬਾ ਬਿਸ਼ਨ ਸਿੰਘ ਜੀ ਹਨ ਐਂਡ ਦੇ ਆਰ ਸਮਵਨ ਅੱਠੇ ਪੈਰ ਸੋ 24/7 ਉਹ ਵਾਹਿਗੁਰੂ ਦੇ ਨਾਮ ਦੇ ਵਿੱਚ ਰੰਗੇ ਰਹਿੰਦੇ ਆ ਕਿ ਤੁਸੀਂ ਉੱਥੇ ਜਾਓ ਪੂਰਨ ਮਹਾਪੁਰਸ਼ ਆ ਸੰਤ ਸੁੰਦਰ ਸਿੰਘ ਦੇ ਡਲੇ ਸੋ ਪਿਤਾ ਜੀ ਦੀ ਆਗਿਆ ਲੈ ਕੇ ਉਸ ਹੀ ਸਮ ਗੱਡੀ ਦੀ ਟਿਕਟ ਲੈ ਕੇ ਖਾਰੀਆਂ ਸਟੇਸ਼ਨ ਵਾਸ ਦ ਨੀਅਰਸਟ ਸਟੇਸ਼ਨ ਟੂ ਮੁਰਾਲਾ ਸੋ ਫਰਮ ਅੰਮ੍ਰਿਤਸਰ ਸਾਹਿਬ ਉਹ ਚਲ ਗਏ ਤੇ ਦੇ ਅਰਾਈਵ ਔਨ ਸੋ 25 ਫੱਗਣ ਐਂਡ ਦ ਯੇ ਵਾਸ 1955 ਸੋ ਉੱਥੇ ਪਹੁੰਚਦੇ ਆ ਜਦੋਂ ਪਹੁੰਚਦੇ ਆ ਕੀ ਹੋਇਆ ਬਾਬਾ ਬਿਸ਼ਨ ਸਿੰਘ ਜੀ ਇਜ਼ ਨਾਟ ਦੇ ਹਨਾ ਹੈ ਨਹੀਂ ਉੱਥੇ ਤੇ ਪਰ ਲੁਕ ਐਟ ਦ ਬਿਰਤੀ ਆਫ ਗੁਰਮੁਖਸ ਉਹਨਾਂ ਨੇ ਕੀ ਸੋਚਿਆ ਕਿ ਆਪਾਂ ਮਹਾਰਾਜ ਕੋਲ ਜਾਂਦੇ ਆ ਤੇ ਵੈਨ ਸਾਹਿਬ ਦੇ ਗੁਰਦੁਆਰਾ ਸਾਹਿਬ ਮਹਾਰਾਜ ਨੂੰ ਮੱਥਾ ਟੇਕਿਆ ਨਮਸਕਾਰ ਕੀਤੀ ਪਰਮ ਪਰਕਰਮਾ ਕੀਤੀ ਅਰਦਾਸ ਕੀਤੀ ਕਿ ਮਹਾਰਾਜ ਯੂ ਟੋਲ ਮੀ ਆਮ ਐਟ ਦ ਰਾਈਟ ਪਲੇਸ ਤੁਸੀਂ ਦੱਸੋ ਤੇ ਵਿਲ ਆ ਗੈਟ ਵਾਟ ਆ ਵਾਂਟ ਫਰਮ ਹੇ ਮਹਾਰਾਜ ਨੂੰ ਨਮਸਕਾਰ ਕਰਕੇ ਜਦੋਂ ਹੁਕਮਨਾਮਾ ਸਾਹਿਬ ਲਿਆ ਤਨਾਸਰੀ ਮਹੱਲਾ ਪੰਜਵਾ ਚਤਰ ਦਿਸਾ ਕੀਨੋ ਬਲ ਆਪਣਾ ਸਿਰ ਉੱਪਰ ਕਰਤਾ ਰਿਓ ਸੋ ਉਹ ਹੁਕਮਨਾਮਾ ਸਾਹਿਬ ਆਇਆ ਵੀ ਆਲ ਨਾ ਦ ਲਾਸਟ ਲਾਈਨਸ ਹਨਾ ਜੋ ਮਾਗ ਹੈ ਠਾਕੁਰ ਆਪਣੇ ਤੇ ਸੋਈ ਸੋਈ ਦੇਵੇ ਬਾਬਾ ਸੁੰਦਰ ਸਿੰਘ ਨੂੰ ਪਤਾ ਲੱਗ ਗਿਆ ਥਿਸ ਇਜ਼ ਦ ਪਲੇਸ ਇੱਥੇ ਹੀ ਮੈਂ ਰਹਿਣਾ ਫਿਰ ਕੁਝ ਸਮੇਂ ਬਾਅਦ ਬਾਬਾ ਬਿਸ਼ਨ ਸਿੰਘ ਜੀ ਵੀ ਆ ਗਏ ਵੀ ਫਾਈਂਡ ਆਊਟ ਵਾਈ ਬਾਬਾ ਬਿਸ਼ਨ ਸਿੰਘ ਵਾਸ ਇਨ ਦਾ ਵੀ ਵੀ ਫਾਈਂਡ ਆਊਟ ਉਹ ਫਿਰ ਆ ਗਏ ਤੇ ਉਹ ਬੜੇ ਖੁਸ਼ ਹੋਏ ਉਹ ਮਹਾਰਾਜ ਮਹਾਪੁਰਸ਼ ਨੂੰ ਪਤਾ ਹੁੰਦਾ ਇਹ ਕੌਣ ਹੈਗੇ ਆ ਕਹਿੰਦੇ ਹਾਂਜੀ ਤੁਸੀਂ ਰਹਿ ਸਕਦੇ ਹੋ ਪੜ ਸਕਦੇ ਹੋ ਸੋ ਦੈਟ ਸਟਾਰਟਸ ਨਾਓ ਦੈ ਜਰਨੀ ਆਫ ਸੰਥਿਆ ਐਂਡ ਉਹ ਜਦੋਂ ਆਏ ਨਾ ਦੇ ਬਾਬਾ ਬਿਸ਼ਨ ਸਿੰਘ ਜੀ ਸੰਥਿਆ ਕਥਾ ਡੋਡੀ ਸਟਾਰਟਡ ਤੇ ਉਹ ਜਿਹੜਾ ਕਥਾ ਆ ਇਟ ਵਾਸ ਏ ਨਤਨਾਸਰੀ ਰਾਗ ਪਹਿਲਪੁਰੀ ਐ ਪੁੰਡਰਕ ਵਨਾ ਭਗਤ ਨਾਮ ਦੇ ਜੀ ਦੀ ਬਾਣੀ ਉਥੋਂ ਹੀ ਸ਼ੁਰੂ ਹੋਏ ਫਿਰ ਯੂ ਡੋਨਟ ਹੈਵ ਅ ਚੋਇਸ ਕਿ ਮੈਨੂੰ ਸਟਾਰਟ ਤੋਂ ਪੜਾ ਦੋ ਇਦਾਂ ਨਹੀਂ ਸੀ ਚੱਲਦਾ ਵਰੈਵਰ ਦਾ ਕਥਾ ਵਾਸ
so they they mata pita they were we if we hear the names we say the hindu name na so their their pitaji's name is lal dev their mata ji's name is ratna devi and they were sajitari arode so it's a very famous uh, surname of uh, that a lot of people from that area aroda si they oh sajitari si ke but they had a lot of sharda and guru nanak dev ji maharaj sikh si ke nanak panthi sikh si they were in 1909 bikrami so 1852 they born to uh, ਪਿਤਾ ਲਾਲ ਦੇਵ ਜੀ ਮਾਤਾ ਰਤਨਾ ਦੇਵੀ ਤੇ ਉਹ ਛੋਟੇ ਉਮਰ ਦੇ ਵਿੱਚ ਵੀ ਵਾਂਟ ਕਵਰ ਟੂ ਮਚ ਆਫ ਦੇ ਦੇ ਚਾਈਲਡ ਹੁਡ ਬਟ ਕਿਉਂਕਿ ਦੇ ਪੇਰੈਂਟਸ ਹਾਡ ਸੋ ਮਚ ਸ਼ਰਦਾ ਐਂਡ ਮਹਾਰਾਜ ਦੇ ਸ਼ੂਡ ਟੇਕ ਥੈਮ ਟੂ ਦੇ ਗੁਰੂ ਘਰ ਦੇ ਵਰ ਸਰਾਊਂਡਡ ਬਾਈ ਗੁਰਬਾਨੀ ਬਟ ਦੇ ਵਨ ਇਨ ਦਾ ਰੂਪ ਆਫ ਅਮਰਤਾਰੀ ਗੁਰਸੇਖਾ ਦਾ ਟਾਈਮ ਐਂਡ ਉਹ ਵੀ ਸਹਿਜਤਾਰੀ ਰੂਪ ਵਿੱਚ ਸੀਗਾ ਪਰ ਫਿਰ ਵਨ ਦੇ ਵਰ 21 ਇਅਰਸ ਓਲਡ ਉਹ ਯਾਤਰਾ ਗਏ ਅੰਮ੍ਰਿਤਸਰ ਸਾਹਿਬ ਐਂਡ ਜਸਟ ਬਾਈ ਸੀਇੰਗ ਦਾ ਦਰਸ਼ਨ ਆਫ ਦਾ ਖਾਲਸਾ ਆਫ ਗੁਰਸੇਖਸ ਰਹਿਤ ਤਾਰੀ ਅੰਮ੍ਰਿਤਾਰੀ ਕਿਰਪਾਨਾ ਪਾਈਆਂ ਸ਼ਸਤਰ ਪਾਏ ਬਾਬਾ ਬਿਸ਼ਨ ਸਿੰਘ ਜੀ ਸੋ ਅਟਰੈਕਟਿਡ ਐਂਡ ਸੋ ਨਿਹਾਲ ਬਾਇ ਦ ਦਰਸ਼ਨ ਆਫ ਦ ਗੁਰਸਿਖਸ ਉਹਨਾਂ ਨੇ ਅੰਮ੍ਰਿਤ ਛਕ ਲਿਆ ਸੋ ਉਹਨਾਂ ਨੇ ਅੰਮ੍ਰਿਤ ਛਕਿਆ ਕਾਲ ਤੱਕ ਸਾਹਿਬ ਐਂਡ ਦੇ ਉਸਤਾਦ ਬਾਬਾ ਹਰਨਾਮ ਸਿੰਘ ਜੀ ਬੇਦੀ ਵਿਚ ਤੇਰੇ ਨੋ ਲੇਟਰ ਔਨ ਇਸ ਗੋਇੰਗ ਟੂ ਕਮ ਦੇ ਉਸਤਾਦ ਉਹ ਜਥੇਦਾਰ ਸੀ ਇਨ ਦ ਪੰਜ ਜਾਤ ਦਾ ਟਾਈਮ ਬਾਬਾ ਹਰਨਾਮ ਸਿੰਘ ਜੀ ਬੇਦੀ ਭਾਈ ਸਾਧੂ ਸਿੰਘ ਭਾਈ ਤਾਰਾ ਸਿੰਘ ਸੰਤ ਅਮੀਰ ਸਿੰਘ ਹੂ ਵਾਸ ਅਨਦਰ ਗੁਰਸਿਖ ਫਰਮ ਮੁਰਾਲਾ they were also in the panch pyare at that time gyani bakshi singh unna ne fir amrit shakya te fir unna ne padhya just to quickly go to go through who they learned from pandit tara singh pandit sadhu singh famous nirmale mahapurush they learn sanskrit vedant all them philosophies from them and then the sampradai art they learned from sant harnam singh ji bedi who was from that gyani samprada so that samprada which traces back to guru gobind singh maharaj and sant harnam singh ji bedi at that time the teacher uh, amritsar sahib and they taught ad katha guru granth sahib ji maharaj and dasam guru granth sahib ji di katha all to baba bishan singh ji and then when they saw how proficient baba bishan singh ji was what can they to see padona and holy holy they go back to murala murala that gurdwara sahib they had it was originally uh, we we mentioned by amir sant amir singh murale wale they used to look after that gurdwara sahib when nihang singh si gaye and then when they passed away baba bishan singh ji got that seva so that's a bit about their learning what was their avastha though? this is the interesting uh, parts of their their life there's a few sakhiya i like to do on them so ek ta puran gurmukh rani kehni de vich pure tyar bar tyar panch kakar de dharni naam abhyasi rom rom de vich simran honda si every single pore of their bodies to vibrate vaheguru mantra and a famous gal le a ke oh ek ghanta hi aram karde si 23 hours oh londe si simran bhakti de vich what was their routine sava pair so 2 am roz ja 1 am ko the season unne uthna ishnan karna te fir aap ishnan karna baba bishan singh ji par upakari si so aaya ta ka safal hai par upakari hoye e aise maa purusha jan par upakari aaye apna nahi sochde dusriyan da sochde a baba bishan singh ji would wake up every single day they would take the gagar do their own ishnan to fulfill, fulfill the maryada of gurmat but then they would take out 150 gagar for the sangat mm. this was the head of the asthan the sant of the asthan you know you don't see this happening today you know baba bishan singh ji would take out 150 gagars for the sad sangat while doing their nitya nam baniya or some like now we have taps which uh, run via pipes and stuff or some yeah like a tank tootiyan uh, or some of they, they used to have taps and stuff but they would connect to a, a tank you know ਪਹਿਲਾ ਖੂਹ ਦੇ ਵਿੱਚੋਂ ਗਾਗਰਾ ਕੱਢਣੀਆਂ ਫਿਰ ਟੈਂਕ ਵਿੱਚ ਪਾਉਣਾ ਕਿੰਨਾ ਸਮਾਂ ਕਿੰਨਾ ਮਿਹਨਤ ਆ 150 ਗਾਗਰ ਵੀ ਉਹ ਡੀ ਐਕਸਪਲੇਨ ਦਾ ਟੇਕਿੰਗ ਵਨ ਗਾਗਰ ਇਸ ਕੁਆਇਟ ਹਾਰਡ ਤੇ ਫਿਰ ਉਹ ਕਰਕੇ ਬਾਣੀ ਪੜਦੇ ਸੰਗਤਾ ਵਾਸਤੇ ਇਸ਼ਨਾਨ ਵਾਸਤੇ ਫਿਲ ਆਲ ਦ ਟਾਪਸ ਫਿਰ ਆਪਣੀ ਜਿਹੜੀ ਭੂਰੀ ਹੁੰਦੀ ਸੀ ਕੰਬਲੀ ਤੇ ਉਹ ਟੇਕ ਦਾ ਆਫ ਵਿਦ ਦੇ ਕੰਬਲੀ ਦੇ ਵਿਦ ਦੈਨ ਚਾਰ ਆਲ ਦ ਗੁਰਦੁਆਰਾ ਸਾਹਿਬ ਗੁਰਦੁਆਰਾ ਸਾਹਿਬ ਨੂੰ ਚਾਰ ਕੇ ਫਿਰ ਉਹਨਾਂ ਨੇ ਮਾਲਾ ਦਾ ਪ੍ਰਕਾਸ਼ ਕਰਨਾ ਜਪਜੀ ਸਾਹਿਬ ਦਾ ਪਾਠ ਕਰਨਾ ਫਿਰ ਉਹਨਾਂ ਨੇ ਆਪੇ ਆਟਾ ਪੀਸਣਾ ਇਸ ਵੈਰੀ ਫੇਮਸ ਅਬਾਊਟ ਸੰਤ ਗਿਆਨੀ ਬਿਸ਼ਨ ਸਿੰਘ ਜੀ ਐਂਡ ਥਿਸ ਕਮਸ ਫਰਮ ਐਕਚੁਅਲੀ ਵੈਨ ਬਾਬਾ ਖਜਾਨ ਸਿੰਘ ਜੀ ਕੇਮ ਟੂ ਬਾਬਾ ਬਿਸ਼ਨ ਸਿੰਘ ਜੀ ਕਿ ਇੱਕ ਵਾਰੀ ਨਾ ਸੰਤ ਬਿਸ਼ਨ ਸਿੰਘ ਜੀ ਸੰਗਤ ਵਿੱਚ ਬੈਠੇ ਸੀ ਉਹ ਕਹਿੰਦੇ ਕਿ ਆਪਾਂ
the Baba Kajan Singh Ji was sitting at that time. So the, what can they, how, how do I um, avoid that one extra hour of sleep? They were also doing some sewa. The Sant Kajan Singh Ji, they were Abhyasi themselves. They knew that if you drink the chakki, then it's okay. They said that you drink the chakki. So the chakki is when you get two big stones. So it's like a grinding mill or whatever mm. you call it, a stone mill. And that's turned round and round. And the dhani you put in the middle, they get crushed. And then that becomes atta. That becomes the flower. One of the pella you say, already they were really old. So this is, when they started doing this, they weren't young. They were really old. And they wouldn't eat much anyway. And we'll hear about what their, their diet was. Both cut shak they see. But if we inna bird the street, every single day, atta fir peen they see. They would grind the, uh, they would uh, grind the, the atta, the, the crops, the seeds, sorry. The, that your father's given this bachan. Look at the, the age of Sant, Sant uh, Vishan Singh Ji. Then Baba Sundar Singh Ji took the seva. But it was that Baba Vishan Singh Ji said that okay, you can take the seva, but the amount of time is going to be used for Kada Prashad, I'm going to do that seva. So I'm going to do that seva. Then what was the reason? It was that the amount of time is going to be Kada Prashad, it was going to be 10 Pachayan. It's not, we're not making food for some normal person. We're making this Qadar Prashad for Guru Sahib. Mm. And Guru Sahib, Akal Purak, Wahi Guru is going to do pork to this. They're going to take this. But can they kadivi beha atta, kalada atta ni vartana. So they would grind the atta themselves, fresh every single day. Fero nu pog lon desi ge. The Baba Bishan Singh Ji, when they were asked, why do you do this? Anna, to see inne hon umar vaddi ho gi ya. The so many seva da zinagor dwara ho kar sa kade ya. The Baba Bishan Singh Ji can de, Ekta chakki peen de sada sarir te hath pavitra ho jandaya. Pahli gal. So our body, our hands, they become pure. Dousra, eh mein maan ghon vaaste kar raha ya. Ke loh ke kende ya ke eh dere de mahant ya, he's the, the head of this data, of this asthan, of this gurdara. Doing this, I want to get rid of my hankar. Aap ta, Baba Bishan Singh Ji had no hankar, but look at the, the state of gurmuk. So, no? they, they still say, I'm doing this to destroy my ego. That's the lesson to us, isn't it? Mm-hmm. Why to do Hathi Seva, Hathadna Seva Karni. So, Fair Baba Bishan Singh Ji ne Kada Prashad Tiyar Karna, O Fair Maharaj Nu Pog Lagna, Fair Shardai Tiyar Karni, Shardai Jadiya Sikha Nu Shikona, Aapni, Aap Shakna Thura Shardai, Par Sikha Nu Vi Shikona, Dud Vi Shikona Sikha Nu. They Fair, interesting what time this to teach in the Santhya. So the Santhya class for Baba Bishan Singh Ji, if you want to learn to them, Tariyan Di Loh Vich Hundi Si. Tariyan Di Loh means in the, uh, in the canopy of the, the stars. Uh, so, Santhya of Guru Granth Sahib Ji, meaning the Katha Santhya, when they would do Katha and Singhs would learn Katha, it would take, the, the Pog of the Katha, Santh Amir Singh Ji would do it as soon as the birds would start to sing. So when the birds would start to sing, they would know that they would be Pog, Katha. They would sing Amrit Vele, Sikh De Sikh. There's a story, a little nice story we'll finish with about Baba Sundar Singh Ji is about Deepmala. So one day, Sant Gyani Sundar Singh Ji brought a diva, Diwali da Rat si. So on, Diwali, on, the, on the night of Diwali, everyone lights diva in the Gurdwara Sahib. And where Baba Bishan Singh Ji was sitting in the room, there was no diva. Baba Sundar Singh Ji thought, let me take a diva there. So Sant Guru Bhajan Singh Ji writes, Ke Sundar, Sundar Singh Ji vaak avakana diva le ava de patana. Ke Maharaj shall I go and bring a diva and light it in your room? It's the, light of, it's the night of Diwali. Santa Ji kaha barkh bo bite taare nahi ham pi chite niga uta tab hi mein karo Guru Nanak Ji te aane viro. Santa Gyani Bishan Singh Ji kende that many years have passed mein utte vi ni dekhya vi mein looked at the stars. And I kende because Baba Bishan Singh Ji na apna sir niwai rakh desi all the time. Kende mein utte taai dekhna jay Maharaj Guru Nanak sahab aake minu darshan deen. Otherwise, I've got an interest in looking at these outer lights. Then they ride beach Guru Nanak Pyaara, kaise taare chand ne hara? Then they, when all the Prakash is inside me, when Baba uh, Bishan Singh Ji is saying that all I can see is Prakash, all I can see is the light of Guru Nanak Dev Ji Maharaj, I don't need to see any other light. I don't need to look at all these uh, lights that you're lighting on Diwali, you look at the stars, all that Prakash is inside me. Jo Brahman de Sohi Pinde, that 
ਗੁਰੂ ਨਾਨਕ ਦੇਵ ਜੀ ਮਹਾਰਾਜ ਗਿਵਨ ਦਾ ਅਲਟੀਮੇਟ ਪ੍ਰਕਾਸ਼ ਇਨਸਾਈਡ ਮੀ ਬਾਹਰ ਮੈਨੂੰ ਦੇਖਣ ਦੀ ਲੋੜ ਨਹੀਂ ਆ ਸੋ ਇਦਾਂ ਬਾਬਾ ਬਿਸ਼ਨ ਸਿੰਘ ਜੀ ਦੀ ਅਵਸਥਾ ਸੀ ਉਹਨਾਂ ਨੇ ਫਿਰ ਕਥਾ ਪੜਾ ਕੇ ਸਾਰਾ ਦਿਨ ਬਾਬਾ ਬਿਸ਼ਨ ਸਿੰਘ ਜੀ ਕਿਸੇ ਨਾਲ ਬਚਨ ਮਿਲਾਸ ਨਹੀਂ ਸੀ ਕਰਦੇ ਉਹਨਾਂ ਨੇ ਫਿਰ ਡੇਰਾ ਨੂੰ ਛੱਡ ਦੇਣਾ ਐਵਰੀ ਸਿੰਗਲ ਡੇ ਦਿਸ ਇਜ਼ ਵਾਈ ਵਨ ਸੰਤ ਗਿਆਨੀ ਸੁੰਦਰ ਸਿੰਘ ਜੀ ਰੀਚ ਦਾ ਬਾਬਾ ਬਿਸ਼ਨ ਸਿੰਘ ਜੀ ਵਾਸ ਦਾ ਬਿਕਾਜ਼ ਆਫਟਰ ਦਿਸ ਹੀ ਟੀਚ ਅਮਰਤ ਵਿਲਾ ਦੇ ਵੁਡ ਗੋ ਟੂ ਅ ਪਹਾੜ ਲਾਕ ਅ ਲਿਟਲ ਹਿਲ ਕੋਲਡ ਪੱਬੀ ਐਂਡ ਇਟ ਵਾਸ ਜਸਟ ਆਊਟਸਾਈਡ ਆਫ ਮੁਰਾਲਾ ਉੱਥੇ ਚੱਲ ਜਣਾ ਉੱਥੇ ਫਿਰ ਸਾਰਾ ਦਿਨ ਰਹਿ ਰਾਸ ਤੱਕ ਉੱਥੇ ਬੈਠ ਕੇ ਉਹਨਾਂ ਨੇ ਅਭਿਆਸ ਕਰਨਾ ਐਵਰੀ ਸਿੰਗਲ ਐਵਰੀ ਸਿੰਗਲ ਡੇ ਸਮਾਧੀ ਵਿੱਚ ਚੱਲ ਜਣਾ ਤੇ ਫਿਰ ਜਦੋਂ ਵਾਪਸ ਆਉਣਾ ਰਹਿਰਾ ਸਾਹਿਬ ਤੋਂ ਪਾਠ ਤੋਂ ਬਾਅਦ ਲੰਗਰ ਦੇ ਵਿੱਚ ਜਾ ਕੇ ਆਪ ਸੰਗਤਾਂ ਨੂੰ ਛਕਾਉਣਾ ਤੇ ਫਿਰ ਆਪ ਉਹ ਕੀ ਛਕਦੇ ਸੀ ਪਤਲੀ ਮੂੰਗੀ ਦਾਲ ਸੋ ਵੈਰੀ ਥਿਨ ਵੈਰੀ ਲਾਈਟ ਮੂੰਗੀ ਦਾਲ ਨੋ ਸੋ ਨੋ ਮਿਰਚਾ ਨੋ ਮਸਾਲੇ ਨਥਿੰਗ ਜਸਟ ਦ ਦਾਲ ਬੋਇਲਡ ਇਨ ਦ ਵਾਟਰ ਐਂਡ ਕਦੀ ਕਦੀ ਇੱਕ ਪ੍ਰਸ਼ਾਦਾ ਪ੍ਰਸ਼ਾਦਾ ਵੀ ਰੋਜ਼ ਨਹੀਂ ਸੀ ਛਕਦੇ ਦਾ ਵਾਸ ਦੈ ਦੈ ਡਾਇ ਤੇ ਫਿਰ ਉਹ ਬਸ ਰੋਜ਼ ਜਾਣਾ ਇਦਾਂ ਵੀ ਕਹਿੰਦੇ ਆ ਕਿ when sant baba bishan singh to come back to uh, the dera of the gurudwara sahib if anyone was talking or doing any sort of galla which are not gurbani if they weren't reciting gurbani or they weren't talking about gurbani they would go to their room and not come out fir sangata ne sochna ke ma prashna ke katha nahi karni rara sahib ne paath nahi karna and they they have to go there and do beinti ya ke maharaj tusi bahar niklo fir ma prashna kehnde si ke eh jada sthan hai itthe koi duniyavi galla nahi karni hai this place isn't to talk about worldly talks or debates or topics it te bani baniya and they would only uh, sit in the sangat if it was about bani and there's one story i remember ek bari um cuz there was a gurdwara sahib all the sangat used to come there and then they would give peta as well they peta ek bari kaafi hogi and the gur six one ke baba bishan singh ji supervises ke peta count karan uh, mm. when they counting the goal and so on ek ghanta da samay lag gaya baba sundar singh ji was in a very upset stay after that kehta ek ghanta mera barbaad ho gaya maya nu dekh dekh ke kadi dobara mainu nahi kehna never again i've got no in. look at all these other uh, committees and so on this is their main priority when they go to the gurdwara mm-hmm. they they're not going they, they're not going to the gurdwara sahib to listen to bani or do simran or pagti or seva they go for the golak mm-hmm. maa pre kehta don't want to see the golak mm-hmm. and i say bahut tyagi birti si ohna da te ਇ ਇਜ਼ ਜਸ ਅ ਲਿਟਲ ਬਿਟ ਅਬਾਊਟ ਬਾਬਾ ਬਿਸ਼ਨ ਸਿੰਘ ਜੀ ਠੀਕ ਹੈ ਜੀ ਸੋ ਵਾਟ ਵਾਸ ਅ ਸੇਵ ਆਫ ਸੰਤ ਸੁੰਦਰ ਜੀ ਲਾਈਕ ਓਰ ਇਵਨ ਦ ਤਪਸਿਆ ਦੇ ਦੇ ਪੈਰੈਂਟਸ ਦੇ ਮੈਡੀਟੇਸ਼ਨ ਦੈਟ ਦੇ ਵੁਡ ਡੂ ਅਮ ਸੋ ਦੇ ਸਟੇਡ ਫੋਰ 2 ਇਅਰਸ ਇਨ ਮੁਰਾਲਾ ਐਂਡ ਜਸਟ ਹਾਊ ਵੀ ਹਰ ਦਾ ਬਾਬਾ ਬਿਸ਼ਨ ਸਿੰਘ ਜੀ ਐਵਰੀ ਸਿੰਗਲ ਮਾਰਨਿੰਗ ਦੇ ਇਸ ਟੂ ਫਿਲ ਅਪ ਦ ਟਾਪਸ ਵਿਦ ਜਲ ਫੋਰ ਦ ਸੰਗਤ ਟੂ ਹੈਵ ਇਸ਼ਨਨ ਐਂਡ ਦੈਨ ਹੋਲੀ ਹੋਲੀ ਬਾਬਾ ਸੁੰਦਰ ਸਿੰਘ ਜੀ ਅਬਜ਼ਰਵਡ ਐਵਰੀਥਿੰਗ ਬਾਬਾ ਬਿਸ਼ਨ ਸਿੰਘ ਇਜ਼ ਡੂਇੰਗ and when i never na nal lag jana holy holy they just took the seva mm. cuz baba bishan singh ji at that time they were very old and they couldn't do this by themselves but they still used to do it but because baba sundar singh ji had that subha a lot of prem they got very close to baba uh, bishan singh ji holy holy unane oh seva sambhal li they started doing that seva as well and baba sundar singh ji used to wake up 1 am pehla they used to get the water for baba bishan singh ji fer sangat vaste so seva bahut kiti unane they fer uh naal beh ke atta vi peena they would grind the 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 atta with sant ji holy holy oh vi seva le li as we heard te fer ohna ne darya nu charna darya jehde hunde a all the the mats that sangat are saying on ohna nu charna te fer sangata de jodiyan di seva karni and gyani sher singh ji is written uh, dr sher singh is written what was baba sundar singh ji's bachan about jodiyan di seva so people would sometimes consider that the charna di turi of jodi and seva uh, some people say oh that's hygienic that that's unhygienic putting that on your matha or considering it as uh, anything special right baba sundar singh da bachan ki si ohna da bachan si ke saad sangat de jodiyan te charna di tur jitni bahut hi andar aave utna hi man shuddh hunda ya kande vad to vad andar hove tade matthe te lao ਤੁਹਾਨੂੰ ਲੱਗਣਾ ਚਾਹੀਦਾ ਆ ਜਿੰਨਾ ਤੁਹਾਨੂੰ ਲੱਗੂਗਾ ਉਹਨਾਂ ਹੀ ਤੁਹਾਡਾ ਮਨ ਸ਼ੁੱਧ ਹੋਵੇਗਾ ਸਾਡੇ ਨੇ
So when you're doing that, obviously it's going to go into your eyes, isn't it? Mm. Some people will think, it, it mm. Baba Sunda Singh Ji Sharda was like to say, it's not going to make your eyesight worse, it's going to make it tej. And the best thing is, Sangat is Charna Turi Ji Shakti. They say, the body is the mind of the body. It gets rid of our diseases, it doesn't give you diseases. It doesn't give you diseases. It's like Guru Sikha de, Saad Sangat de, Charna Di Turi. It's magic. It's Charna Di Turi. How many of you have been? Baba Beer Singh Narangabad, Gyani Pitam Singh Ji, there's loads of sakhiyan about Charan Turi. You, know, you can tell loads of sakhiyan, we won't go too much into that. Uh, Baba Maharaj Singh, I think as well. Baba Maharaj Singh Ji, Sakhi Vi Hai Giyah, about Charan uh, Jorian Di Seva. So, when you do the Seva, Sant Guru Bachan Singh Ji writes, Jute Sangat Ke Sab Safa, Karha Bastar Seva Gafa, Prem Netar Te Behe Sunira, Kab Darshan Guru Nanak Hira. So when they were doing that seva, at all times, Santigyani Sundar Singh Ji would, would be crying. From their eyes, tears were coming that when will Guru Nanak Dev Ji Maharaj give me darshan? So, Har Avakt Maharaj Dev Darshan Adi Echa Si, Baba Santigyani Sundar Singh Ji Lu. Te, Bartana Di Vi Seva Karni. Te, Fir Tapasya Ke Vi Si, Ke, Ek Vari Na, Jadho Samar Da Sama Si, Baba Sundar Singh Ne Dekhya, Ke Ethe Reet Bote Ya, There's a lot of sand around Murala. They don't have any thought that it's tapped in, in the, the, the summer's heat. This is really, it's, it's going to be scalding. You know, it's going to burn my body. They went there and went there and went there and went there. Then one day, when it was very cold, they saw where the, the pond is and there was a lot of, there was like a little lake there and there were a lot of uh, fishes in there. Then Baba Sundar Singh came to the mind that they didn't feel cold. Like they were always in the water. If I go in there and do a bias, why will Maharaj make me ill or anything like that? Sharda si Maharaj dech, o srovre ja ke baith ke kinne kinne kante a bias kari jana. So idda o kar de si ke. Te kehan kehan da paav da Baba Sundar Singh ji were like in a mastani birti, you could say. Where they were in that stage where their body didn't matter to them anymore. All they had was one focus, give Maharaj de darshan hon. Ta may I have the darshan of Guru Nanak Dev ji. And that is what we'll get, get towards now. So then, are there any stories of Santa Ji getting darshan of Guru Gobind Singh Ji and the other Das Patshah? Yeah. So there's a very famous Akki actually. And uh, it will be like where we end this podcast. Mm. Um, so this story comes from that routine of Baba Bishan Singh Ji. That every single day after completing Katha, Baba Bishan Singh Ji would leave the Gurdwara Sahib and they would go towards that hill called Pabbi uh, Pahar. Without anyone else there, they wouldn't take any Sevadas with them because they wanted Ikaant. They wanted full solitude. And all day they were going to Samadhi. All day they would sit there in, in, uh, imbued in, in Naam. But oh, Garmi Hundi Si, Garmi De Karan Gala Sukh Jana Kaivari. They would keep uh, something called a tind. Tind is like a metallic pot. You know, we see like um, uh, the kuhs in Punjab, the wells in Punjab, which have like a ferris wheel type thing. And it's got these little pots on it and then it goes into the water. Or tind is there. The tind is there. You can see the water. And then a lower area of that hill is there. When they were thirsty, when they were thirsty, they would go down and they would drink some water. What happened one day? When they went down to get it, it would dig. All the water was gone. The Sant Gyani Guru Bachan Singh Ji was, uh, tells his Sakhi in their Katha, and I've based it on that, because the other st- uh, Puthiyan, they tell the story a bit differently. Well, I'll base it exactly how Sant Guru Bachan Singh Ji told it. It's that a Virakt Sadhu, who used to live at Murala, so um, a wandering Sadhu, you could say, he did like a Tarak, like a, a bit of a statement to Baba Sundar Singh Ji. And, was, and he, he, no one knows what's going on. But Ojra Sadhu, he said to Sant Sundar Singh Ji that you take Vidya from Baba Bishan Singh. You live here, you eat prashadda here, sara kuch kar deya. But your, your Ustad or your Sadhu goes out to the, um, the, the mountains to do Pagati and you don't even take any water from him. Baba Sundar Singh, that's the time the water is going to be filled. The Maharaj Ji said that پانی اتھے گر گیا اتھے مہاراج نے وہ سادو تو کہا تھا ہے نا تے گڑوا بھر لیا تے جدوں وہ گئے ٹوورڈز دا ہیو انہوں نے دیکھا کہ بابا سندر سنگھ جی بیٹھیا 
not where they usually used to, usually used to sit, but at a lower level under a tree. <laughs> Baba Sundar Singh was laughing to him. Uh, Baba Bishan Singh Ji, sorry, was laughing to himself, and they said the they were talking to themselves, saying, "Ke pila pani hun, na ke tu pani rakda si ba par ke tu kol pani lakhe pila hun." You know, you know like, like we say sometimes to ourselves when something doesn't happen how we want it. Mm. They, some day, Sundar Singh Ji comes and they, they give that, they offer that gadava of pani to Baba Bishan Singh Ji. They Baba Bishan Singh and they, they know that they who sent you. They, the words of Sant Sundar Singh Ji, Maharaj, you see that. Now why that other sadhu to see up that they are. Now, the Guru Sikha under Sat Guru Varta, that Maharaj, you are saying that why the Guru Sikhs. They in the same way why that. Sadhu, you spoke as well. At that time, Baba Bishan Singh Ji was very happy. And when we read in Sukhmi Sahib, the Brahma Gyanji was very happy. That from the eyesight or the glance of a Brahma Gyanji, that nectar of Nam or the nectar of Shakti, that from the eyesight or the glance of a Brahma Gyanji, that nectar of Nam, that Shakti, that's always raining from their eyes. And if they look at you with that glance of grace, uh, who knows what, what, what they can give you, what gift they can give you. And Baba Sundar Singh Ji says, uh, sorry, Sant Guru Bachan Singh Ji said in their Katha, that at that time, Uh, Baba Bishan Singh Ji looked at Sant Sundar Sund- Sund- Singh Ji with such a glance of grace, such power, that one of the Sudha Buddha Pulagi, all consciousness of this body, it all went. And in that time, they were ananda. At that time, then Baba Bishan Singh Ji got up, they left, because they were like, someone else has come now, they were like, they were like, they were like, they were like, so, they were like, they were like, they were like, they were like, Baba Sundar Singh Ji was about to get up with Baba Bishan Singh Ji. Baba Bishan Singh Ji said, No, you are here. You are here, you are here, Vaheguru Guru Mantra Da Jaap Kar. So when Baba Bishan Singh Ji said, okay, Don't follow me, you are to sit here and just do Vaheguru Guru Mantra. Baba Sundar Singh Ji went into like this avastha, uh, this trance you could say, where they just merged with Vaheguru Mantra. And what happened to that, just to... quickly go through how sant guru bachan singh is written eh sant chale aage kash thire simran apne ko ras tare sant sundar singh prem upai man thir hoye naam liv lai te tan man ki sab sudh puli desh kal tan hanta duli so time stopped time didn't exist anymore for them desh the place they were sitting at wo bhi sara chal gaya tan hanta the attachment to the body i am this body wo bhi nas ho gaya that they're sitting at this flanna so so called place uh, named place the hill i am this body sundar singh and the time is this everything is gone all they can feel is wahi guru guru mantra they o same apa visra aap se aaye nirgun sargun eko paaye das sat guru tab nain nihare bandan ki ni sant pyare o same in the katha these are the words of sant guru bachan singh ji they say that such a kala took place at that time with the kirpa of guru sahib that tarti asman sirf guru nanak dev ji pratit hoye whether it was the tarti the earth or the sky they would look to the left the right thalle upar up and down all they could pratit pratit means experience and feel was guru nanak dev ji maharaj and oh same fair mara de idda darshan hoye that wherever they look they can see guru sahib har passe te ਫਿਰ 10 ਪਾਤਸ਼ਾਹੀਆਂ ਅੱਖਾਂ ਦੇ ਨਾਲ ਦਿਸਦੇ ਆ ਦੇ 10 ਦਿਸ ਮਾਹੀ ਜਿਮੀ ਅਸਮਾਨਾ ਅਖੰਡ ਸਰੂਪ ਦਸੋ ਗੁਰ ਜਾਨਾ 10 ਦਿਸ 10 ਮੀਨਸ ਉਹ 10 ਡਾਇਰੈਕਸ਼ਨਸ ਰੈਵਰ ਦੇ ਲੁਕਿੰਗ ਜਿਮੀ ਅਸਮਾਨਾ ਔਨ ਥਿਸ ਅਰਥ ਇਨ ਦ ਸਕਾਈਸ ਐਵਰੀਵੇਅਰ ਅਖੰਡ ਸਰੂਪ ਅਖੰਡ ਸਰੂਪ ਮੀਨਸ ਵਿਦਾਊਟ ਐਨੀ ਬ੍ਰੇਕ ਹਨਾ ਸਾਰੇ ਪਾਸੇ ਮਹਾਰਾਜ ਜੀ ਮਹਾਰਾਜ ਦਿਸਦੇ ਆ ਐਵਰੀ ਪਲੇਸ ਸਾਰੇ ਪਾਸੇ ਗੁਰੂ ਸਾਹਿਬ ਹੀ ਦਿਸਦੇ ਆ ਬਿਨ ਗੁਰ ਅਵਰ ਨਾ ਦੀਸਤ ਕੋਈ ਅਦਰ ਦੈਨ ਗੁਰੂ ਸਾਹਿਬ ਜੀ 10 ਪਾਸੇ ਆਂ ਦੇਖੋ ਸੀ ਐਨੀ ਵਨ ekankar jyot avloi they saw that jyot of ekankar of vaheguru so that jyot they have pratak darshan har tha char ch phere satguru lakha var bandana ur kar jithe vi dekhde a satguru hi satguru des this is where they had that darshan that they for so many years they were yearning for this darshan the mala ne kripa kit ditti te lakha var bandana ur kar in the hirda they doing namaskar ta ko lakh var again and again they doing namaskar to Guru Sahib Ji. They fear they start to sing the praises of the Guru Sahibs and Sant Guru Bachchan Singh Ji has written what those praises were. They're really long, so we'll leave that out. They fear Sava Pairo Kandeya and it's also the day is also written. 
ਸੋ ਮਹਾਪੁਰਸ਼ਾਂ ਨੇ ਲਿਖਿਆ ਆ ਕਿ 22 ਸਾਲ ਦੀ ਉਮਰ ਮੈਂ ਜਾ ਰਹਾ ਪੋ ਸੁਧ ਸਪਤਮੀ ਤਬੈ ਦਿਹਾਰਾ ਤੇ ਉਹ ਦਿਨ ਕਿਹੜਾ ਸੀ ਪੋ ਸੁਧੀ ਸਪਤਮੀ ਇਟ ਵਾਸ ਦਾ ਗੁਰਪੁਰਬ ਗੁਰੂ ਗੋਬਿੰਦ ਸਿੰਘ ਮਹਾਰਾਜ ਸੰਤ ਮਹਾਪੁਰਸ਼ ਵਾਸ 22 ਇਅਰਸ ਓਲਡ 22 ਇਅਰਸ ਓਲਡ ਬੰਦੇ ਕੋ ਦਰਸ਼ਨ ਆਫ 10 ਪਾਸ਼ਾਈਆਂ ਤੇ ਦਿਸ ਡਿਵਾਈਨ ਵਿਜ਼ਨ ਆਫ ਦਾ 10 ਪਾਸ਼ਾ ਵੈਨ ਔਨ ਫੋਰ ਸਵਾ ਪਰ ਇਨਾ ਸਮਾ ਉਹ ਦਰਸ਼ਨ ਕਰੀ ਗਏ ਕਰੀ ਗਏ ਐਂਡ ਦੇ ਵੈਂਟ ਟੂ ਦਾ ਸਟੇਟ ਆਫ ਮਸਤੀ ਅਨੰਦ ਤੇ ਮਹਾਪੁਰਸ਼ਾ ਸ਼ੀ ਰੈਡ ਵਾ the conversation was with das pashaiya and sant gani sundar singh ji so what is that bahut sundar likha aaya satguru ne je pyar ko jana maharaj looked ke eh mera pyar aaya das pashaiya guru nanak dev ji guru gobind singh maharaj unhone ne dekhya sade pyare aa sant sundar singh ji they are beloved and maharaj then said these words maharaj said jab hove darshan ki chaaha tab aave tumre hi paaha ke oh sundar singh whenever you want darshan we come to you ਕੋਈ ਪ੍ਰੋਬਲਮ ਨਹੀਂ ਆ ਅਸੀਂ ਆ ਜਾਣਾ ਤੁਹਾਡੇ ਕੋਲ ਐਂਡ ਦੈਨ ਜਿਸ ਕੋ ਸੁੰਦਰ ਸਿੰਘ ਪਿਆਰੇ ਚਾਹੋ ਹਮਰਾ ਕਰਾਏ ਦਿਦਾਰੇ ਤਾਂ ਕੋ ਹਮ ਦਰਸ਼ਨ ਤਬ ਦੈ ਹੈ ਪ੍ਰੇਮਾ ਭਗਤੀ ਵਸ ਸਦਾ ਹੈ ਇਥੇ ਤੱਕ ਮਹਾਰਾਜ ਨੇ ਇਹ ਵੀ ਬਲੈਸਿੰਗ ਦੇ ਦਿੱਤਾ ਦਾ ਹੂਐਵਰ ਯੂ ਵਾਂਟ ਟੂ ਗਿਵ ਦਰਸ਼ਨ ਤੋ ਉਹਨਾਂ ਨੂੰ ਵੀ ਆਪਾਂ ਦਰਸ਼ਨ ਦੇ ਦਾਂਗੇ ਸੋ ਹੂਐਵਰ ਯੂ ਡਿਜ਼ਾਇਰ ਕਿ ਇਹ ਸਿੰਘ ਨੂੰ ਦਰਸ਼ਨ ਹੋ ਜਾਵੇ ਆਪਾਂ ਉਹਨਾਂ ਵੀ ਦਰਸ਼ਨ ਦੇ ਦਾਂਗੇ ਬਟ ਦੈਨ ਮਹਾਰਾਜ ਆਲਸੋ ਸੈਡ ਰੈਕਗਨਾਈਜ਼ ਥਿਸ ਦੈਟ ਵੀ ਹੈ ਆਲਰੇਡੀ ਐਸ ਵੈਲ ਮਹਾਰਾਜ ਸੈਡ ਪਰ ਬਟ हमरो जो रूप अखंडा आ फॉर्म व्हिच इज फॉरएवर क्योंकि दर्शन कदी कदी महाराज देंदे है ना बट इज वन फॉर्म दैट्स ऑलवेज देयर वो कहंदे गुरता मालिक ज्ञान प्रचंडा द फ्लेम ऑफ ज्ञान द प्रकाश ऑफ ज्ञान व्हिच इज श्री गुरु ग्रंथ साहिब जी महाराज वो सादा अखंड रूप है सब को आप उदाहरण हारा शांत प्रेम दे परम निवारा ते फिर महाराज कहंदे जह शंका को निवारण चाहो शब्द विचार परम सुख पाओ जदो कोई शंका होवे ਸ਼ਬਦ ਦਾ ਵਿਚਾਰ ਕਰੋ ਗੁਰੂ ਗ੍ਰੰਥ ਸਾਹਿਬ ਮਾਰੇ ਤੇ ਦਰਸ਼ਨ ਕਰੋ ਉਹ ਸਾਡਾ ਹੀ ਰੂਪ ਆ ਤੇ ਮਹਾਰਾਜ ਕਹਿੰਦੇ ਸਰਬ ਵਿਆਪਕ ਰੂਪ ਹਮਾਰਾ ਕਿ ਜਿਹੜਾ ਵਾਹਿਗੁਰੂ ਮੰਤਰ ਹੈ ਉਹਦਾ ਜਾਪ ਕਰੋ ਜੇ ਤੁਸੀਂ ਜਾਪ ਕਰੋਗੇ ਇੱਕ ਮਨ ਹੋ ਕੇ ਕਮਾਓਗੇ ਦੈਨ ਯੂ ਗੈਟ ਦ ਅਸਲੀ ਦਰਸ਼ਨ ਆਫ ਆਤਮਾ ਆਫ ਯੂ ਆਤਮਾ ਵਿਚ ਯੂ ਟ੍ਰੂ ਸੈਲਫ ਵਿਚ ਇਜ਼ ਪਰਮੇਸ਼ਰ ਜੋਤ ਜਦੋਂ ਆਤਮ ਦਰਸ਼ਨ ਹੋ ਗਏ ਫਿਰ ਹਰ ਵਕਤ ਹੀ ਦਰਸ਼ਨ ਆ ਕੋਈ ਸਮਾਂ ਨਹੀਂ ਚਾਹੀਦਾ ਕਿ ਮਹਾਰਾਜ ਸਾਨੂੰ ਆ ਕੇ ਦਰਸ਼ਨ ਦਿਓ ਜਿੱਥੇ ਤੁਸੀਂ ਦੇਖਦੇ ਆ ਉਹਨੂੰ ਅਬਨਾਸੀ ਦਰਸ਼ਨ ਵੀ ਕਹਿੰਦੇ ਆ ਅਬਨਾਸੀ ਦਰਸ਼ਨ ਇਜ਼ ਵੈ 24 hours a day you having darshan of wahiguru because there's nothing but wahiguru you become one with wahiguru so they said to sant sundar singh wahiguru mantra da tu abhyas kar te jado te da ik man ho ke kamao ga na fir asli darshan atma paavo when you have darshan of the atma then is darshan all the time fir ta koi ghatta ni na fir har har jando hi ek hai so is prakar oh fir idda sara kuch hoya ਤੇ ਉਹ ਫਿਰ ਕੀ ਹੁੰਦਾ ਭੇਦ ਨਾਸ ਵੈ ਭਗਤੀ ਤੇ ਚਬ ਏਕ ਅਕਾਲ ਵਿਆਪਕ ਹੈ ਤਬ ਬਾਈ ਡੂਇੰਗ ਦਾ ਭਗਤੀ ਦਾ ਭੇਦ ਦਾ ਡਿਫਰੈਂਸ ਵਿਦ ਦਾ ਦਾ ਕਿਵ ਕੂੜਾ ਟੁੱਟੇ ਪਾਲ ਦਾ ਕੰਦ ਆਫ ਹੋਮ ਮੇ ਬਿਟਵੀਨ ਅਸ ਐਂਡ ਵਾਹਿਗੁਰੂ ਵੈਨ ਦਸ ਡਿਸਟਰੋਇਡ ਫਿਰ ਅਕਾਲ ਵਿਆਪਕ ਓਲੀ ਕੈਨ ਸੀ ਇਜ਼ ਵਾਹਿਗੁਰੂ ਦੈਨ ਓਲੀ ਸੀ ਇਜ਼ ਗੁਰੂ ਨਾਨਕ ਦੇਵ ਜੀ ਪਾਈ ਕਨਈਆ ਜੀ ਓਲ ਦੇ ਸੋ ਵਾਸ ਗੁਰੂ ਗੋਬਿੰਦ ਸਿੰਘ ਜੀ ਦਸ ਦਾ ਵਸਤ ਹਾਈ ਯੂ ਗੈਟ ਦੈਨ ਸੋ ਇਹ is is going to get more interesting what happens next baba bishan singh ji comes back <laughs> and baba bishan singh no no vi darshan hoye us waqt so when that happened baba bishan singh ji these are the words of sant guru bachan singh ji in their katha where they've told this akhi they say that baba bishan singh ji when they arrived in the evening time back to get baba sundar singh ji ohna nu vi isi prakar darshan hoye in the same way and they said to baba sundar singh ji ke gurmukha kithe pair rakhiye ਜਿੱਥੇ ਵੀ ਮੈਂ ਦੇਖਾ ਗੁਰੂ ਨਾਨਕ ਸਾਹਿਬ ਜੀ ਆ ਵੈਰ ਡੂ ਆਫ ਮਾਈ ਫੋ ਮੈਨੂੰ ਪਤਾ ਨਹੀਂ ਲੱਗਦਾ ਹਾਂ ਐਂਡ ਵੈਨ ਬਾਬਾ ਬਿਸ਼ਨ ਸਿੰਘ ਜੀ ਕੇਮ ਮਾ ਪਸ਼ ਰਾਈ ਮਸਤਕ ਪਰ ਆਪਣਾ ਕਰ ਰੱਖਾ ਗੁਰੂ ਮਹਾਰਾਜ ਗੁਰੂ ਨਾਨਕ ਦੇਵ ਜੀ ਫੁੱਟ ਦੇ
ਸੰਤ ਗਿਆਨੀ ਸੁੰਦਰ ਸਿੰਘ ਜੀ ਤੇ ਬਹੁਤ ਖੁਸ਼ ਸੀਗੇ ਉਸ ਸਮੇਂ ਉਹਨਾਂ ਨੇ ਇੱਕ ਗੁਰੂ ਗ੍ਰੰਥ ਸਾਹਿਬ ਜੀ ਮਹਾਰਾਜ ਦਾ ਅਖੰਡ ਪਾਠ ਸਾਹਿਬ ਆਰੰਭ ਕੀਤਾ ਐਂਡ ਸਟਾ ਇਨ ਦਾ ਅਖੰਡ ਪਾਠ ਸਾਹਿਬ ਜਦੋਂ ਭੋਗ ਹੋਇਆ ਦੇ ਮੇਡ ਬਾਬਾ ਸੁੰਦਰ ਸਿੰਘ ਜੀ ਸੇ ਇਨ ਦਾ ਤਾਬ ਆਫ ਗੁਰੂ ਗ੍ਰੰਥ ਸਾਹਿਬ ਜੀ ਐਂਡ ਬਾਬਾ ਬਿਸ਼ਨ ਸਿੰਘ ਜੀ ਸੈਡ ਦਾ ਮੇਰਾ ਹੁਣ ਜਿਹੜਾ ਸਰੀਰ ਹੈਗਾ ਨਾ ਬਹੁਤ ਬਿਰਦ ਹੋ ਗਿਆ ਬਿਰਦ ਵੇਸ ਤਨ ਆਯੂ ਵਿਹਾਈ ਤਾਂ ਹੁਣ ਮੇਰਾ ਆਮ ਵੈਰੀ ਓਲ ਨਾ ਤੇ ਮੇਰੇ ਕੋਲ ਕਥਾ ਨਹੀਂ ਹੁਣ ਕਰ ਹੁੰਦੀ ਮੈਂ ਬਹੁਤ ਹੁਣ ਕਹ ਲੋ ਆਫਟਰ ਥਿਸ ਮੇਬੀ ਇਨ ਅ ਫਿਊ ਮੰਥਸ ਦੇ ਦੇ ਲੀਵ ਦੇ ਸਰੀਰ ਐਂਡ ਗੋ ਟੂ ਸਚ ਕਨ ਤੇ ਕਹਿੰਦੇ ਮੈਂ ਤਾਂ ਬਹੁਤ ਵਾਰ ਤੁਹਾਨੂੰ ਕਥਾ ਸੁਣਾਈ ਆ ਹੁਣ ਜਿਹੜਾ ਗਿਆਨ ਧਿਆਨ ਜੋ ਭਗਤ ਵਿਰਾਗਾ ਜੋਗ ਸਮੇਤ ਪ੍ਰੇਮ ਮਨ ਜਾਗਾ ਇਹ ਗੁਣ ਸੁੰਦਰ ਸਿੰਘ ਮਜਾਰੀ ਗੁਰ ਭਗਤੀ ਸੇਵਾ ਹਿਤ ਕੰਮ ਸੋ they saying that sant gani sundar singh ji who is the form of gyan they've got that brahm gyan so they're telling this to the sangat have no shanka on sant gani sundar singh ji that inna ne virag nu kamaya ya bhagti nu kamaya ya and all these qualities are in sant sundar singh ji eh hun thanu katha padhaoge ta te inko saupi seva arth padhaave sri gurudeva inu un seva pa deve dinde ha ke inu hun arth padhaune ha ਦਾ ਸਾਦ ਸੇਵਾ ਆਫ ਟੀਚ ਇਨ ਦਾ ਆਰਸ ਵੀ ਗਿਵਨ ਟੂ ਸੰਤ ਗਿਆਨੀ ਸੁੰਦਰ ਸਿੰਘ ਜੀ ਤੇ ਲੇਟਰ ਔਨ ਇਨ ਦਾ ਦਾ ਨੈਕਸਟ ਪੋਡਕਾਸਟ ਵੀ ਗੋ ਥਰੂ ਦਾ ਸੱਚ ਕਾਂ ਚਲਾਨਾ ਆਫ ਬਾਬਾ ਬਿਸ਼ਨ ਸਿੰਘ ਜੀ ਵਾਟ ਹੈਪਨ ਦੈਨ ਤੇ ਅਪ ਟੂ ਨਾਓ ਵੀ ਹੈਵ ਰੀਲੀ ਕਵਰਡ ਦਾ ਮੇਨ ਸਾਖੀ ਆਫ ਸੰਤ ਗਿਆਨੀ ਸੁੰਦਰ ਸਿੰਘ ਜੀ ਜੀਵਨ ਅਮ ਸੋ ਉਹ ਫਿਰ ਆਪਾਂ ਨੈਕਸਟ ਟਾਈਮ ਕਰਾਂਗੇ ਬਟ ਯੂ ਕੈਨ ਸੀ ਦਾ ਅਮਾਉਂਟ ਆਫ ਡੀਟੇਲ ਦਾ ਸੰਤ ਗੁਰੂ ਬਚਨ ਸਿੰਘ ਜੀ ਇਸ ਗੋਨਟ ਟੂ ਬੋਥ ਡੀਟੇਲ ਹੈਗਾ ਔਨ ਦੇ ਜੀਵਨ ਸੋ Uh, is better if we present those details which people don't know because a lot of the sakis other people know them sakis or they're more common mm. so jidiyan cheeza lokan nu nahi pata will try and focus on that first well thank you so much um for sharing all this um like thank you so much then for sharing all this um information on the jeevani of sant baba sundar singh ji and also sant baba bishan singh ji as well uh, to be fair quite a lot of their jeevani as well as they link and i'm guessing the next podcast hopefully be on um sandeep baba sham singh ji uh mm-hmm. because guru ke dapa we do get a lot of messages uh, from the sangat even really funny enough yesterday I got a message from a singh saying mm-hmm. when is the next guru mukh series coming out so i was like you're quite lucky because you're filming it uh, on wednesday so um, i think it's very nice all the sangat are asking for this and definitely um it inspires all of us um to look our own jeevanis and how to increase our jeevani um and get closer to guru sadhu so again thank you so much ji any final comments so sant baba sham singh ji da barsi is in april hmm. so hopefully uh, we'll have the next part and that will be um all of their sakhiya so it's the same situation as this one where hmm. in their jeevan we only gone up got, gone up to when that sort of point where they start doing prachar in the sangat and so on and all their main sakhiya we haven't gone through them yet hmm. so the second part will be really interesting good party well thank you so much and thank you for the song for listening if you got any suggestions please or any questions please put them in the um comment section as well theek hai ji wahiguru ji wahiguru ji ka khalsa wahiguru ji ki fateh ji